We are apparently live. Oh my goodness. Spreading this is our very exciting. our bits out into the internet. I don't know if I the internet can't handle our bits, as we have clearly just discovered. They are quite mega. Giga, even. Possibly Terra. Giga? Yeah, I guess if someone looked at your bits and was like, Man, those are like Giga. You're like, that's alright, I guess. Yeah. It's okay. Alright. Also, Publix. Excellent. Okay. Everything should be working according to plan. Publix. Wonderful. This game's too loud, though. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. I suppose chat will have to let me know about that as we continue. Yeah, I believe we're live. Sit here for a moment while I run around as a marble. Oh, oh yeah, there's somebody. Hello. How do you do? Do, do they see you rolling? I think they see me rolling. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, what an interesting one to start on. This is actually Streamlabs uh, we're catching up on here. Oh, okay. And um, as we go, hopefully we'll be able to knock out a couple of different categories of thing that we need to, to catch up on. This is Mubeshly. All right. Do you plan on releasing any videos this year besides your April 1st one? And do you plan to release one before then or only after? It's going to be only after at this point. I uh, the, There was a chance for the boys one, but uh, I'm afraid it's gotten too big for me to be able to release it. Uh, before April 1st, but, you know, I'm gonna be a big boy. Oh, that's fun. Uh, would you do any fat movies on Pirates of the Caribbean? At least the first and most recent one, similar to what you did with Mulan. It would be great to have Shad on to talk about the fight scenes. Funny they say that, isn't that right? Yeah, right. That is, that's interesting that they do say that. Um, not saying anything is happening in any way, shape, or form, but I think Pirates of the Caribbean will make its way to EFAP movies one day. Almost for certain, but who knows. Uh, speaking of dumb takes about white people and racism, have you seen Jenny Nicholson's recent tweet? Uh, her sister also took the YouTuber JFJ out of context during VR chat to make him look bad. Doesn't surprise me, but I don't know anything about yeah, that. Yeah, doesn't surprise me at all. I'm sure they're ready and rearing to score points with their favorite current political group. Those pesky white people. Someone should just do something about all those pesky whites. Well, it's funny they, they're talking about that with the, the article, isn't it? <laughs> Watch too many yeah. anti Star Wars videos, you end up a white supremacist. It's horrible. Oh, clearly, yeah, it's awful. You know, really, George Lucas is ultimately to blame, I would say, at that point. I'd say so. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for him. Yep. Um... Uh, Mola, did you figure out Streamlabs so you can read this on stream? That's still it's still behaving like a weird person to me, and it's just simpler all the time to, to get them afterward. I don't know what it is. Uh, Rags, did you upload anything in 2020? I don't think so. If not, that gamer from Mars will make a video declaring you dead. Yeah. <laughs> he tends I to mean, do that. Well, uh, I, guess, I don't know. I guess he doesn't pay attention, I suppose. Uh, can't wait for your Batwoman Season 2 coverage. Make life fun again. Cheers. Hell yeah. Been, um, uh, been pretty good so far, Batwoman. Um. It has not disappointed, I'll tell you that. Because, uh, you know, Season 2 has my favorite Jacob episode in it, so take that for what it's you want. It's a great episode. It's a great episode. And favorite Jacob moment, shotgunning the bats. Like, that's, I don't know how they can top that. It was, uh, That would be, that would be really, well, when he tells off, uh, Mary, is that better than shotgunning the bats? Oh, that's a tough one. Because the, the shotgunning the bats thing is such a Chad move. It is. But so is him telling her off to her face. Yeah, it really is. That's I... the thing. that we, we love this show, and there are other people who love this show, and the conversations that we each, uh, you know, each respective group has about the show, a little bit different. Mm hmm Um... These are all like weirdly formatted. Uh, started watching you massives from EFAP one in June last year, and I'm finally, finally all caught up. I wonder if they still are. Wow. Um, that's, rip. 
That's impressive. Yeah. Rip to anybody catching up from the start now. Thanks for the month's worth of background noise while I work on projects. Also, Kira Aura rags. Or Kia Aura. Oh. Hi there. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, it's the thing. The more EFAP goes on, the harder it will be to watch the entire show. But, I mean, you know, you It'll don't want to miss like, out. It'll uh, be like a soap opera. Yeah. It just goes on forever. Forever and ever. Mutually of Lumbus. I was asking Rags if he can, if you can be omni-impotent, meaning if you have none of the powers, I guess. You read it twice as omnipotent. Is omni-impotent the opposite of omnipotent? Um, I suppose it would be. Like in um, every way you lack power? I don't know. I don't know how I would actually, if... If I had a, a hero or a villain who is omni-impotent, I don't I'm not sure how I would describe that. Yeah. Cause to be omni-impotent is like you have to have some strength. Just by existing you have capabilities, surely, like mm -hmm. if you're a character. Um so I'm not exactly sure how I would portray that in media. That would be a tough one. Um just make them generally just a loser, I guess. They're just not particularly talented in any real way. <laughs> I'll try and catch the new ones as they come in as well. Do you think Far From Home is good? It's terrible. I, I'm never going to be able to go as far as say it is terrible. Uh, there's, there's problems in Far From Home. It's worse than Homecoming. And um, I've had a couple of discussions with different people here and there. I could be moved from different numbers, but for now I think I've settled on like a 5 or 6. Um... The biggest problem in the film being Tony Stark giving Peter, Edith. And then, of course, Edith not showing up in Endgame when it probably should have. Um, but yeah, I like Far From Home. Uh, one of those things, you know, you're just going to we'll have to see how the conversation evolves on that one. You, do you have any thoughts on Far From Home ranks? Not really. I've only seen it the one time, so... Mm -hmm. I remember liking it, not as much as Homecoming, but I do remember liking it quite a bit. Some good stuff in there. Um, so I guess we'll see. Got a whole bunch more lyrics from good old Sammy Scott. I, I uh, posted a real long song with this one. Oh boy. Guys can't win, kindness is an affliction. I don't know what these edgy lyrics are. But uh, more power to you, I suppose. Um, yeah. At this point, I'm also convinced that Last of Us 2 actually is only disliked because Joel died and none of its actual issues. Uh, can we talk about... What? That, sorry, that's the end of a, a super chat that says, can, can we talk about how Mango proved sequel fans correct because it's clear now that the sequel backlash wasn't based on their quality? What? So, I'm assuming Oh, that... uh, oh, you said Mango. You mean Mando? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, well, they, they wrote Mango. I'm assuming they're just trying to oh. shit on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um. um uh so here's the weird thing um i guess it's not that strange i think mando is really beloved while the sequels are reviled even though they're both essentially equal in terms of their horrifically bad writing it's that one of them is insulting mm -hmm. um and it seems to have to a degree some kind of a meta agenda behind it and Mando isn't. It's Mando's not insulting. It Mando's, doesn't, um, you know, take a crap over your uh, on your characters. It doesn't really do much world building damage to the stuff that you've loved. It's mostly self contained. M M uh, Mando doesn't have so, like an idea of deconstructing uh, what you've seen before. The whole like, yeah. Hey, you know you like Mando lightsabers. What if they were gay though? And you're like, what? Yeah, Mando like, doesn't oh, cool. take the things you like and try and redo them or deconstruct them or rebuild them in a bad way. That's probably why so I didn't piss I, people off as much, but it is interesting because it's really badly yeah. written, though. <laughs> yes, there, it's pretty much just as badly written as the sequels. It's just less overtly insulting about it. Yeah. And there's the whole, like, water in a desert angle where it's just like, thank goodness, Star Wars content that doesn't make me furious. And it's like, alright. All right. Yeah, I think the sequel set the bar really, really low. Mm-hmm. Clearly. Um... 
do. Even if slash when God can be objectively proven, that won't convince everyone. The Mano evidence of voter fraud, NPCs, and TLJ fans are proof that objective evidence won't convert a heart hard-hearted fool. Christ will still have enemies even after the second coming. <laughs> All right. So you know what's interesting about that is that in theory, right? From what I've heard about this God fellow, is that God should know in his divine omniscience exactly what it would take to convince every single person on the planet. So he should, with that kind of knowledge, just provide that kind of information to everybody and it will convince them. I just thought he would have made it more obvious myself. You'd think. Just me sitting there. So I guess I'm just gonna wait until that time happens because it's, uh, it's kind of on him. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Um, is Rags' Mando video going to be just Season 1 or Season 1 and 2? It will be... Originally, I thought, I'm going to cover the first season. I am covering the first four episodes. <laughs> it is too... It is... There's too much that I get... I think there's just too <laughs> much. I think there's just too much to talk about. And I do intend to finish the whole thing eventually. Me but man. I think that if I... I I want to just want I want to limit my project because I think I'd burn myself out if I did a whole video with the whole thing with how um with how long it's become and how detailed. Oh, if it, it's it's long enough as it is, four episodes. There's enough to talk about. I can't do the whole season in one video. I got to break it up. I was gonna say like, how long was my one episode video for Game of Thrones on episode five? Was it two hours? But... It was something like that. Like, this is... I think if I did a whole thing of those for a whole season of eight episodes or whatever... Oh, nine, two and a half hours for one episode of TV. This is... See, guys? This is the problem. There's so much to talk about. There's so many things I did wrong. As the old saying goes, it takes seconds to... I don't know, fucking spread shit all over a room. It takes ages to clean it up. Get a hose and you go... <laughs> then... Men that janitor with a mop. TFA. Um, like... Yes and no, in the sense that eventually I'll probably cover it as my as as a really deep dive into media sort of thing. Yeah, but I'll be doing a lot of Mando is going to be a departure from probably what I normally cover. Yeah, for me, like TFA is something I'm going to keep coming back to between other projects. Um, I'm imagining you won't cover the remaining episodes unless certain boxes are ticked and certain stars align, right? Like, it's not a desperate thing or anything. Yeah, it's not desperate at all. I'm in absolutely no hurry to cover it. Um, because at this point, with the minis and everything, it might not be that hard to write the script for them in comparison to Season 1, but that also means waiting a long, longer, so it makes sense either way. Yeah, the, um... I feel like I don't need to make a Mando Season 2 video. I imagine Man Rags would feel it would be partially redundant with all the, the stuff we've said over those minis. There's, what, like 11 yeah, hours the of minis content are, there? The minis are really comprehensive. For how off-the-cuff they are, relatively, yeah. they are very, very thorough. There's a lot of problems with that, and undoubtedly there are problems that I don't even... Ha I haven't even thought about yet. I mean, I those I, things are dense. Yeah, though I was visions. really happy with the uh, those as like, you know, pieces of content to just see stuff analyzed. Like watch, have fun with our jokes, our reactions, and then our breakdowns. You know, it's like a complete fun package. Um, the, like if someone was a fan of my mainline channel and said like they couldn't stand those, I'd just be like, huh, that surprises me. Especially with all the uh, visual references as well, but. What can you do? Um, all is forgiven. A fair excuse or reasonable explanation should generally be accepted, and in any case... Wait a minute. Sorry. I get it you don't want to watch the big Les show, okay? I thought you might get a kick out of it, and it was short, but it's okay. I'll stop bothering you about it. No promises for my fam squad in the chat, but hope you all keep on keeping on. Wish you the best. All is forgiven. A fair excuse or reasonable explanation should generally be accepted, and in any case, it's not needed, as I feel the apology was genuine. Genuine. Uh, did you at least get a chuckle out of them, though, or is it just a skip? Okay, either way, thanks for the EFAPs. Oh, I think this is in regards to the, um, all the lyrics that was sent. Yeah, I mean, I, I figure that 
if anyone sends walls of text through the, because uh, Streamlabs can essentially be manipulated for that. Like, I don't know that there's any way I can stop people from doing that, so I'm, just, I'm probably going to skip over them, because the last thing I want to do is encourage people sending, like, books through or some shit. Um, you know, if it's a long question, I'm still okay with it, but I don't really want to read out songs, if you know what I mean. Not, not exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's not preferable. Um, but, uh, of course, thank you. Uh, hey, Mohawk and Rugs. Hello. Hey. Just wanted to thank you and Wolf for making me aware that extended editions exist for Lord of the Rings. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, is that? Oh, it, yeah. wow. Wow, someone should do Wow, yeah. we should watch those and we should watch those and make videos on our reactions to them. Oh, I'm saying, like, like, the fact that they didn't know that those existed kind of blows me away. I thought everyone knew about them, but. Yeah. Well, boy, oh boy, are you in luck because mm -hmm. EFAP has done. Um, EFAP movies on all of the Lord of the Rings movies. And they were extended. So you can check those out. Yeah. And we watch the extended editions because, of course, we do. Mm hmm. Uh, change those films from a 7 out of 10, it looks cool, but characters feel iffy, to a 10 out of 10. Boromir is great and sets up Anakin, uh, Aragorn's journey. Um, I mean, I like Boromir in the theatrical, but he's, he's definitely improved by the extended. Yeah, Boromir and Faramir both get a lot extra. Yeah. That's some. That's a great example of just extended, just oh, improvement. Can you think of a movie rack that isn't improved by the extended theoretically? You know what? I can think of one. Oh. I can think of one. Yeah. Uh. It says squeak squeakers squeak squeakity also high rags. Hi. Interesting choice of thing to say. All right. Uh. I long. Hello, Rags. Hello. Hey there. Which is objectively superior? OK spelt O and then K, or OK spelt O K A Y. And I why? like O K A Y. Well, then they said they follow up because apparently they knew your answer. Why is it O K A Y? Thank you for your co cooperation. Yeah. Um, because I feel like it just it fits in with all of the other words a little bit better. Um, like if I drink tea. It is T-E-A, you know? If I see a B flying in the air, it's B-E-E. -E. Huh. Um, so I think that O-K-A-Y, even though it sounds like two letters, O and K, I think it just seems, it seems like more of a word. I feel like O-K is just a, a modern shortened version of that word to put on billboards or text messages. I am fine with either. Don't yeah, it's, it's not a... Not a strong position that I hold, but if ever I type it out, I always type out OKAY. Mm -hmm. Hey Mubler, hey Das, what do you guys think of the Outer Worlds? I actually thought it was pretty trash. I have not played it. And... I have not played it either, but I've heard all kinds of things. Like, is that the one that gets right? Is, is that the one that shit? Because one of them gets shit on, one of them gets recommended, right? Outer Worlds, Outer Wilds. I can't remember which is which anymore. The Outer Wilds um, is the one we keep getting recommended. The Outer Worlds is the uh, uh, Obsidian one. Mm. Yeah, all right. Yeah, haven't played it. Don't have an opinion, I'm afraid. Uh, P.S. Muller, I'd very much like to see you play Heavy Rain and or Beyond Two Souls. They're insane. Perhaps one day. But uh, not really any intention to do it right now. Read. Do you think Bagidius ever met Hagidius Ahenobarbus Julius Agricola de Hamo, otherwise known in the vulgar tongue as Farmer Giles of Ham? Oh. Context Tales from the Perilous Realm by J.R. Tolkien. May long, no, long may the long may reign. Sorry, I am misreading. Long may the long man reign. High rags, and then just. <gasps> Hello. As Thaddeus. All right. Uh, Begidius met all kinds of people in his travels. I imagine he basically met everybody. So, yes. Uh, could you please have Terence poop on an episode? He's a former Green Beret and an expert on propaganda, so he has insights on why TLJ is such a propagandist, military retarded piece of shit that even EFAB hasn't talked about. Also, he's a fan of Critical Drinker. Uh, his last name is Poop? Apparently his name is Terence Poop, yeah. Wow. 
P O O P. P O O P. Not not the most poor fortunate. Um... I feel like if my last name was Poop, I'd change it. Yeah, I could see that you know? happening. It's oh. like if your last name was Anal Rapist. Yeah, just inconvenient, really. Oh no. Wait a minute, I did this level already. Uh. But yeah, you know. Are you maybe... sure they didn't mispronounce spell like Pope? It's definitely like poop. poop. Hmm. But, um, you know, who knows what his name is actually? Yeah, it could be, could be. More... Same. What if his name was shit and they just put poop? Be unfortunate. That would be unfortunate either way, I suppose. Haven't you read these before, Mola? Um, not according to my uh, backlog. I don't remember them. I was gonna say I don't remember Terence Poop. Yeah, these seem new to me. But uh, could be wrong, I suppose. I find the idea of comic book heroes and comics being childish falls apart if you look at its origin in pulp novels and detective stories for an older audience. They are where adult comic books and heroes since the beginning. Hi, Rags and Mola. Hello there. I don't think I care whether it's for children or not. I'm more interested in what argument they're making from that. In Patrick Willem's case, we can't have R-rated versions because that means children can't watch it. Like, Yeah, that's a side thing. Totally understandable if that's like the reason why you don't like it, but it uh, doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. Yeah, and it's so hard to make the argument as well when so many R-rated superhero movies are um, being held up as great examples of like, oh my god, the genre can expand. Like, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm on board. Let's do it. Uh, many, many EFAPs ago, before episode 50, I asked if I could be a guest on 146. I was told I needed to be a YouTuber with a million subs to do it. Since then, I've made zero videos and gained three subscribers. I'm still hoping to make it in time to be on 146. Okay. Well, you know, um, I mean, it's theoretically possible. Yeah, never say never. I mean, that's three down. You only have 999,900... Ninety seven? Nine. Sign yeah, seven. Yeah, almost there. Uh hello rags, Mooler and Metal. Hello. After After rewatching the last EFAB near the end, is Patrick saying comics were were made for straight white men like me, so since it isn't what I like, I want to remove what I hate even though others enjoy it. That part was weird. Do you remember he was like he was saying that, like, um, most content is made for him because he's a straight white male. He sort of did imply that. I think you just straight up said it. <laughs> it, was, it was just like, um, I thought the point of the whole video was how... Oh, fuck it, I can't even be asked. I think we, we, we covered it pretty efficiently. It was, um, it was a frustrating video for the most part. Indeed it was. He wants to make a point. Maybe he will one day. Um, long man, I've, I come to you in a time of great need. I have a friend who argues that DS2 is the best game in the series. He's clarified that by best, he means it does literally everything better than 1 and 3, and that his other friends, and that it's his other friend's favorite games. I don't know what, I don't know what you can do. I'm sorry. I have seen Dark Souls 2. Fuck playing that. Nobody should have to play Dark Souls 2. It's, uh... It ain't right. Best. It ain't right. So, um, someone linked me a video uh, that came out recently, someone just covering its um, development, and like halfway through its development cycle, it, they restarted it entirely, like engine up, I think. Damn. Which explains why it was such a mess. Um, lots of rushing, all kinds of just like, you know, nightmares in, in production. And I know this is the thing, it's like people worked really hard on it, it's like, I'm sure they did. People worked really hard on TLJ. Yep. Fortunately, things can go bad. And, uh, yeah, it's funny because the video was framed of like in a, in a way that was like, what the hell happened? You know, because we've all accepted at this point Dark Souls 2 is a fucking mess. Let's try and figure out how. Why? Abandon him. You can't save him. It's too late. It's like, yeah, that's, you know, that's one way to put it. Uh, is Wisecrack right, Mauler? Is Dark Souls' story really about re entering your mother's womb and getting your dick removed? I need answers. Um. I, 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 you know, it doesn't shock me that Wisecrack would have made a video about Dark Souls 2's, Dark Souls meaning in general, and came up with something like that. Dark Souls is a bad game because it steals your dick. Remember, uh, it was like, oh, we're covering them and they're going to talk about how Disney ruined culture, and it's like, oh my god, like, what, what kind of argument are they going to make? Because there's ones that I think I could feasibly see, and it's like, oh, you know, they're classic movies 
uh, paving over yeah. the horrors of reality. I was just like, what? Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have taken that angle myself, but you know what? You do you. You do you. It's kind of, it's, it's almost in the same family as Patrick in the, like, the opposite. It's like, these stories were made for, you know, X thing. They shouldn't be Y thing. They should hang out. See if they agree on anything. Yeah, Patrick needs friends. <laughs> Uh, also, lol at the MSM accusing Superman of being responsible for the attack on the Capitol. Zack Snyder, more like Zack Spider. Am I right? Um, if if that's for the whole like, how did how did Superman in any way get assumed to be involved in any way with the Capitol explosion? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. They never go over a motive. Like everyone is just like, wait, Superman didn't stop the explosion. Maybe he was complicit. And it's like, what would? Why would he do that? What does it he makes stand no gain? sense. He has nothing to gain. He has everything to lose, and he has nothing to gain. And he's not shown to be an outright villainous character, just extremely negligent and stupid. Which is something I'm not even sure the film ever really... Like, like it feels like I'm on the same team as it... some people in that movie, but not for the same reasons at all. Yeah, the like, Batman, his animosity towards... We're going to start talking about Batman and Superman again. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, I can't... We can't get away from it, Mahler. It follows us. It. Tr oh my god. And there's stuff that we've done that these people haven't even seen yet. Yep. They're going to be sick of us talking about it. Basically, the film gets to sort of the same conclusion sometimes, but in totally the wrong way, when it mm -hmm. should be a softball. They're super easy, and they just fucked it all up. But uh, its fans will absolutely argue that these things are in there. <sighs> Definitely. The film holds them accountable. Uh, critics with film degrees. Where did you stu Where did you study film? On a farm. Oh. I don't. I don't. I feel like you. I feel like. I feel like if you were just on a farm studying film, <laughs> coming up with things on your own, you'd do better. Like yeah. you wouldn't get all of this new artsy lefty garbage in your head, and so you'd come up with literally better ways to analyze and look at art. I would argue it would come across as a lot more, um... It, it would be a lot more fun to listen to someone who grew up on a farm review a film, because their metrics are going to be a surprise, probably. Or at least it'll tell yeah. you a lot about them. When you come across someone who's like, well... Thematically, this is about capitalism's fate, and you're just like, oh, I'm tuning out. <laughs> I'm just done already. I can't be asked to listen to this. It's like, here we go. You're like, what were we listening to again? It's like, oh, it's a review of Cars. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you don't appreciate the deeper meaning? Oh. Uh, yeah, definitely, that's no, it. I just, I'm just getting tired of every movie being about the worst things that happen in society in a broad meta sense that is never explicit. It's like, alrighty. It'd be nice if you just had a thing where we just talked about the actual movie. Remember when we, we were... Wh whose video were we covering? I think it was in the, the offline e that was coming out soon. We were like, when is he actually going to talk about the writing? Is that ever going to happen? Yeah, we covered a. That was the. Yeah, we covered a couple videos. We did. I forget his name. It was like a T W, right? T A W, something like that. I honestly have completely forgotten the name of the first dude. I, yeah, I remember the videos. I yeah. don't remember the name of the people. But there was like a. There was like that. That triangle of him and. Uh, twin perfect and Tex. Twin perfect. Yeah, Tex. That's the one. Yeah, Tex. A lot of... Ugh. <laughs> it's just, just a triangle yeah. of awful. Guys, you've got eight hours. I think it's seven hours and twenty minutes of of EFAP, of responding to BVS videos and discussion. That's that, that just... Oh, so much content to come. And not long after that will be the Justice League EFAP movies, probably. Not long after that, Snyder Cut releases. Like, literally six days till Snyder Cut, I think. And what a journey. I'm so excited. I mean, it's, it's really worked out, this whole DC arc, I think. It's been fun to talk about, despite the incessant cringe. Yeah, we're doing God's work, that's for sure. Um, hi Rags, hi Mola. Hello. Hi. Did either of you cry when you got your silver play button? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. The thing is... I said, huh, that's neat. I could I could see a scenario where someone cries over having that and the reasoning being pretty powerful or whatever. 
Um, yeah, like it was a goal that they've had for a long time, or they put a lot of you know, uh, something. You can, yeah, you, there's you ways. can write a story yeah. about that. Um, hypothetical. So, hypothetically, someone did cry about that. Would it be pathetic? That's the thing. It would be context for that one. Uh, yeah, I think there'd be context for it. Because it could be that this is something they've been working out for so long, and that maybe they've like poured blood, sweat, and tears into all kinds of like really, really good videos, and just never got noticed in any way. Yeah, they're they're like they're the only person in the Indonesian fishing village with an internet connection, mm -hmm. and it's their life and livelihood. And everyone told them that they couldn't do it, and that it would never happen, and they could never make a living doing it. Yeah, the. I think there are scenarios where I could probably be like, aww. But, um, I feel like I know what one is being referenced with this. <laughs> Maybe. It's quite a Maybe. famous one. I have a sneaking suspicion as well. Uh, and hypothetically, do you think people would be okay with mocking someone who cried about that? I think the entire internet would mock someone over that. Because probably. sometimes people forget exactly what their standards are when they make fun of people for stuff. And uh, then they get mad when someone else does it about someone they like. I'm not referencing anything specific right now. I'm simply oh. thinking out loud. But uh, yeah, the whole internet would absolutely have laughed at Ma Matt Jabo. Uh, and I, yeah, I will absolutely. admit, when I first saw that clip, I'm pretty sure I lost my shit. Like, I thought it was so funny. And it's not... It's not because of um, it being so impactful to him. It's, it's I'm pretty sure it's absolutely crocodile tears. And he just wants to try and... Uh, you know, get that video. Just, just, just get and get it around. It's like, oh, so what an ep. Because do you remember like reaction videos like that? I think they had a moment back in the day where it's like they would go viral. Um. Oh yeah, they were big. I mean, they still are. They're just out of the the media spotlight, but that's a huge thing. Yeah. So um yeah, like like I, I think he was probably like, here's my chance. If I cry over it, it could be considered like this huge moment. And I remember back when I first saw it, all the comments were positive, or at least the majority of them. They were like, never feel ashamed to express, you know, how much something means to you and stuff like that. Which is definitely a standard that they hold consistently <laughs> for other things. Absolutely. They're definitely not changing because it's the one thing they like this time. Well, no, like, I think the whole comment section is negative now, but it's not a surprise. Like, Matt's reputation is just... One of the lowest, I guess you'd say, right? Like probably. It is. It is very low. It is rock bottom. Uh, hello, Mola et al. Sans rags. Aw. Racist. I'm not joking when I say I've read an erotica about Luke on the island that better understood his character than TLJ. That doesn't surprise me. It would. It would I can believe you. Normal. I believe you 100. percent this is the thing when you, like, I think a lot of people are like, isn't it shocking And uh, with, with some of these things? So for example, like, uh, I watched a movie in, like, well, I watched a porno that's better than Captain Marvel. It's like, yeah, I, I, I could believe I it. I totally believe it. Most um, porn videos are objectively better. Absolutely, I believe that. And with, with Luke in TLJ, like, they didn't just not have him be Luke. They made him do something that was like 100%, like 180 his character. Which, uh, is more de like, if he was, I don't know, incompetent, or, uh, there are lots of things you could do to him that we'd be frustrated with, but wouldn't be on the same scale as he tried to kill a family member in their sleep. It's like, that's, uh, hmm. May have gone too far in little places there. Just a few. I'm thinking so. Captain Marvel XXX. Oh, yes. Um, hello, Long. Hello. Hello, Rag. She's got the bone stone. Oh, yes. Uh, Hi there. <laughs> it's only a month until the second best holiday after Christmas. Oh, Thanksgiving, I'm assuming they're referencing? Um, I'm trying to remember when this was sent. It was probably Second like... best holiday oh, these after are recent. Christmas. Christmas Ish. and then Thanksgiving and then Halloween? Or... I, I guess that's their preference. E I guessed. Maybe. Yeah. And that's absolutely fine. Thanksgiving is great. Everyone's yeah. allowed into the club of holiday loving. Uh, just as setting without any particular movies or comics in mind, do you prefer Marvel or DC and why? Marvel. Um, I don't... 
have a huge preference. So, like, my favorite heroes are Batman, Spider-Man, um, Iron Man, and the Punisher, I think. So three of those are Marvel, one of them is DC. And that could literally just be because of the fact that I don't know more about DC and have seen less from DC well portrayed. Um... Like, I, I think that the honest answer for me is just as long as they're really well done, I think I'll end up preferring whichever one has more stuff that I see that's well done from it, you know? I was never really into superheroes when I was younger. So it was, um, like, this foray into the MCU and the DCEU have been the most that I've really absorbed of superheroes. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, so I reckon, a I reckon... lot of what I feel about them is going to be influenced by these movies. Yeah. Um, I didn't have like favorites for the most part. They were all just sort of, hey, they're cool. That they're all kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I've um, like forced you to watch fucking most of the MCU by now. <laughs> like, I think I've it. seen them all. Now I think, I think you I've might seen have, them yeah. all now. Yeah, um, I think I have seen them all. We watched uh, Guardians like almost back to back at some point. So I was like, oh, you got to see them. They're so good. Yeah, Guardians one and two. Those were great. I think MCU is just full of great characters. There's so many cool characters and fun movies. Like, the, the Guardians movies are so fun. Mm -hmm. And the characters are so... just They're great. You just want to hang out with them. Yeah. I don't want to hang out with anyone from the DCEU. <laughs> they're all just miserable cunts. <laughs> so true. Well, yeah, they're so... They're all just assholes. For the sake of the people... His brains exploding in chat. Of course, Rags is just referring to the limited scope compared to the the wide array from like all of all of the content relating to these things some of the the movie franchises and just yeah it's nobody's gonna have a good impression of dceu if they're just going from Zack snyder's stuff i say that yeah oh yeah people... these are specifically the the dceu people um i don't i don't really know anything about yeah the other depictions of batman are almost certainly much better but it's not because it's intrinsically Batman or anything like that. It's just that the Batmans that I have seen have been the Joel Schumacher one, the Batman and Robin. I'd rather hang out with George Clooney Batman oh, hell yeah. than fucking grim, dark, it's just uh, Batman from DCEU, whoever he, that actor is, is. I can't even be fucked to remember. Uh, ben Affleck. <laughs> Ben Affleck, and he's not like a, he in and of himself. He's not a bad Batman. It's just that he's ready to be this asshole, a smoldering a life of pain and sacrifice. Sort of like I, I can get that impression from him. It's just goddamn, he, he needed a writer. Fun. Yeah, he could be a fun Batman who's quippy and interesting and who's very insightful. Who's a really cool detective. I think he could play a suave detective really well. But, well. Yeah, yeah. He ain't here. Um, do you remember when George Clooney had like some kind of he was holding like some weird disc thing and he punched one of the hockey players through it and you could see his face through a little hole in it and he just goes good night. <laughs> yeah, he makes he quips he makes little things like he that he, there's a man who likes his job. He, well, he thinks he did an awful performance in that movie. It's just like I don't know. It suited the movie to me. It, yeah, it suited the movie. And I think if you said, George Clooney, I want you to play like a more serious Batman, I think he could absolutely do it. Yeah, probably. Um, this is the thing. I he think was, he's got a good range. We're in the Joel Schumacher universe. I don't know that any of the... Because, like, you know, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Uma Thurman, they were both fucking hamming it up. And I'm glad they did. But then again, maybe Arnie was just doing his normal thing, which, again, is fine. Like, <laughs> But... Um... I would want, like, that's that's what that world is, so, I don't know. You could hang out with Wonder Woman and claim to be another reincarnation of Steve Trevor. Oh. Trying to get in with Wonder Woman. Oh my goodness gracious. You wouldn't have a choice at that point. Uh, I'd want to, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, like, Wonder Woman could be, if we had the Wonder Woman from the... Fucking Batman vs. Superman. The Wonder Woman from that, where she's just like this almost, um... She's almost a Black Widowy in a way. She's a, she's like a super spy. You get yeah. that vibe from her in the dress. Like she's a almost like a Lara Croft. Well, in a way. Yeah, because what we need is to justify her retirement for one hundred years or whatever, which is going to be tough. You have to basically give her a storyline where humans fuck her over and each other significantly, and she loses faith in them as a people. Um, but the thing is, like, why is she? What's she doing on Earth then? If she like, 
You're just chilling. She's the bridge between two uh -huh. worlds. Well. Wait, they do that for Wonder Woman and Aquaman. for Superman. They double dip wait. on that. Because you... <laughs> remember, Themyscira was supposed wait, to be the... Um, you you were comparing him to Superman. I thought you were comparing him to Aquaman. He's a bridge oh, between fuck, two worlds. Oh, fuck, there's three. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a mess. What a mess. I'd, rather, I'd hang out with Aquaman. He yeah, seems yeah. like a cool guy to hang out with. Well, he seems fun. It would be kind like, of, sometimes. It would be kind of, that kind of thing where just, like, yeah, it's fun, but uh, you might at one point might want to sit him down and be like, so, genocide. I kind of want to talk to you about yeah, it. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I guess I was thinking about him when that one scene from the beginning when he gets the beers with those guys yeah, and they yeah, like yeah. have a good time. And that sounds fun, but then I remember the rest of the movie and I was like, oh, never mind. Like we, if I have to, yeah. if I have to give someone a lot of alcohol to have fun with them hanging out, like I don't know, maybe mm. maybe I don't really want to hang out with them. Maybe it's just the alcohol you want to hang out with. Maybe I'd hang out with the Flash. He might be the only character that I would actually hang out with. Well, something interesting I found out. So you know how at one point he's like, "I've never been in a fight before," and I think in our recording we were like, "What? He's never been in a fight before? Holy shit! Like this must be super early in his career, I guess." Um, but I always assume but he's got a suit and everything. I assume when justifying it for Justice League that the idea is that's why he's not going to nuke everybody instantly because he's super fucking OP. But yeah, you he's have, really strong. Yeah, you have the character be like, "Oh, I'm a little scared because I've never done this before." You're like, "All right, that gives you more drama, I guess." Um, that quote was brought up to Zack Snyder, and he he was like annoyed that apparently Joss Whedon does a reshoot to make him someone who hadn't done fighting yet. He's like, oh, my Flash is experienced. And I'm just sitting oh, there like, really? the funny part is I'm pretty sure it was done because the Flash should dominate. So now he's going to have to dominate. Guys, running at the speed of light, oh, it gives you access to so many wins. Like yeah, a... super speed is... And I, I will I... say, I think it was one of the little things that I liked in terms of just viscerally not logically about justice league was when the flash started running really fast when they first met superman and superman's eyes like followed him yeah and in the super speed and then the flash was like oh shit i was that was cool i, you know? I yeah I'm, I'm 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 okay with that like it's yeah it's cool to watch and to see and that could have been you know done better i think the problem comes in for a lot of people that in that scene, if you ask me who the faster one is, I'd be like, I think it's still Flash, right? But then, yeah, the Flash end... was portrayed to be still fast. Superman was super fast, but Flash was faster. Which I think is how you should make it, like, honestly. Because yeah. Flash not being the fastest now... is not cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, is it objectively bad? No. no. It's just, like, why, though? Why, as, for, why make that creative decision? Kind of like Wonder Woman and her insane super speed. We know she has to have incredible super speed to block bullets with her fucking stupid bracers. Yep. So, you're wondering, like, how fast are you people? I have much more of a grasp on a lot of the MCU heroes. Well, for now. Um, <laughs> especially for in the division, we're going to be getting lots of people are energy driven and super big power. And you're like, uh huh. Hmm. It's, it's like you have I yeah, it's, Wanda versus we're Agatha, and it's like, sludge. you guys know who's going to win when Wanda and Agatha fight, right? And you're like, uh, I, I don't think. Oh, well, ruins. Yeah. Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. Could the Flash theoretically punch as hard as Superman? I would assume you could punch harder if you can move faster than Superman significantly. I would but assume if they're so. around the same, then I guess... You know. However, it's the it's like it's the it's the the makeup of what you're doing the punching with. Like yeah. I don't think the Flash is so resilient that he can punch at super speed and like almost not hurt himself in a way. I guess we'll have to see. We didn't we didn't get a lot from this version of Flash in the movie. He was mostly moving people around, I think, from what I remember. And yeah, he, and he was accounting for Whiplash, I think, or at least trying to. Hello, Mewpsley. Hi, Rags. 
Hey there. Hello. Here, have these money. You should watch the Super Mario Bros. movie for EFAP movies. It's Tisms. Like I said, the, the, it'll come eventually. Lots of movies to come on EFAP movies. It's a never-ending fun... To, it's going to be weird when we get to EFAP movies 100. Like, should we watch something special for EFAP movies 100? What would that be? Um, I'm... Yeah, I'm fine with watching something special. I just don't know what it would be at the moment. What maybe that would be like off three Nicolas Cage movies or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I just saw season three, episode 13 of Buffy, the one with person and things. It was very good. And I'm glad I stuck with the series. Yeah, that episode's really good. A lot of people... If you're not hooked by season three, you're probably not going to like the show. But most people have something to, to like at that point um, significantly, and season three is pretty good. Um. Oh, and then there's the copy pasta. If is stale as fuck something every week, be arch on other people's work. Fun instead of booching about stupid purple all the time. You sound hmm. like women be arching about work. Where'd the fun go? Well, you know what? Where'd the fun go? Where did the fun go? Fun go. We still got a meme fab to release, uh, and another one to record. That was a fun. There you go. Stay for the meme fab. Oh. And that is up to date from the latest stream, not including this one, of Streamlabs. Excellent. Oh. Now, we've got the super chats from... The last of the Bloodborne streams. Super chats to catch up on. So here we go. A different era. Um, you know what kind of Arnie film you're gonna get when it starts off with him smelling the bad guys downwind? Lol. Does he do that? Does he smell Batman? And... I don't, I don't, Maybe he does. I, don't I can't remember. remember. Oh, someone said cats for the movie. We, we could do watch. that. Maybe we could do like three really awfully hated movies. Like one recording, it's like the big EFAP movies 100 or something. Yeah, maybe. Could be cats, something else. We'll, we'll leave it to a bit of a vote, perhaps. Uh, at Fringy, have you seen Code Geass? I believe he has not. You all speaking of thoughts on Predator series. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the first one. I think the second the one is a mix. great. The second one's fine. Bag. Th uh, then you got AVP, which is pretty bad from what I remember. AVP Requiem is absolute dog shit. Then Predators. Requiem. Which is a mixed bag again. I like the first half. Second half is poopy. Then The Predator from Shane Black, which is really, really, really bad. You should make a video on that. I think I will. I'm going to release it right now. All right. I'll check after the stream. See if it's any good. Oh. Huh. Um, Buffy has really good character development. You're absolutely right. It has some of the greatest arcs in fiction, I would argue. So, uh, it's pretty neat. And I assume from that uh, super chat, you're probably enjoying it, which is excellent. Mola, future video on Star Wars... Uh, I guess that's the OT? And, yeah, I have plans to go through all of the mainline films eventually. The thing, guys, I planned to be on YouTube for a while, so we got time. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah. Neither are movies. Uh, sorry, but no, sure, but internal monologue is not a common thing in anything that is live action. Anime is basically a comic book in motion. I'm assuming this if might really. If you want to justify it that way, sure. Um, I think that's what we're pointing out, though, right? We're like. The, the idea that because it's done a lot, it's okay, is a really bad justification. Like, um, and so live action doesn't do in a monologue to help explain to you exactly what characters think and feel. Meanwhile, anime does. But anime does it a lot, so it's okay. It's like, ooh. Mm. I wouldn't go there myself. Nope. Um, bring you with that negative 67 IQ take on Halo 4. Oh my goodness. What Do you have any takes on Halo 4? I didn't like the story, and I didn't... The multiplayer was fine to me, but I, I wasn't very picky at the time. 
Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't replay it. I have no interest in ever touching it ever again. Um, I don't remember it being a particularly strong. Well, there's always Halo the potential game. of us going through um all the campaigns, right? Obviously yeah, I mean, we could do. Yeah, I'd I'd play it through with you guys, but. God, that's gonna be so weird for me because I'll it'll actually be like us talking about the storytelling as well as having fun playing it, you know? Yeah. And uh, Halo Four, I assume, is is it four player co-op? Um. Uh, it becomes four-player co-op at Halo 3, I think. Hmm. Oh, well, there you go. One day, EFAP will have its Halo arc, perhaps. Yeah, I think Halo 1 and 2 are two-player co-op, I think. What's worse, Halo 4 or 5? Uh, I right. hear both the campaigns are really bad, but I hear that the multiplayer in 5 is legit good. Yeah, I, I can't say. I've not played them, but from what I've... Just different things I've heard, they've, they've both got their... Uh, because if only Fringy were here to answer these questions. God, if Halo, Halo lore is stupid. I, I wouldn't know. I don't... I do not... Uh, well, maybe with all the new stuff it is, but... Because when people say Halo lore, I just... I just... It's just Halo 1, 2, 3, and ODST and Reach. You know, not the 343 stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even, like, think about those as being part of Halo. But, yeah, with all the new stuff, I could, yeah. I guess but if you ignore that, the Halo lore is actually really good, especially if you read the books. The world building is incredible and excellent. Uh, interesting how we think about that, right? Because if someone says Star Wars is shit, you'd be like, um, I mean, yeah. yeah. But if they said Star Wars the OT is shit, you'd be like, no. And like, well, I don't think it's shit now because of everything that came after. And it's like, I just don't, I don't know, I just... Those stories are still there. <laughs> Leave them alone. Yeah. Uh, Rampancy was part of the universe from the start. The AIs are built with limited tech, and it's something about their neutral network overloading over time. Assume that's Halo talk. I don't know what Rampancy is. I think it's when an AI goes crazy. Oh. I don't think Spark was being literal when he said you are forerunner, because he also says child of my makers, meaning humans are descendants. There's all this Halo talk. I, I'm afraid Halo uh, Free well, is not if, here. So if your parents are human and you're the child of them, I mean, either literally, that line works either literally or figuratively. So. Hmm. Um, I'd have to have Jeff Bezos money to afford all the super chats to explain all the things Fringy got wrong about Halo 4. Ah. So it sucks, see, because I, I just got no reference. I never played the fourth of the Halo. I wasn't I wasn't a nerd playing little space games. I was playing stuff like Marble. Which is not in space. This is clearly a world. Don't make that mistake. Only watch Are you 30 gonna are you uh, interested in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Hell yeah. So this is the Marvel solo movie. It's about this wonderful world filled with weird shapes and stuff where a dude just rolls around. But um, I don't know. There's, there's gonna, some stuff's going to happen by the end of this campaign. Some evil people are going to do some evil things. I got to stop them. It's going to be great. The problem with big beasts is if, if you lock onto their head when, for instance, in Paul's case, you need to focus on the limbs. Yeah, the, so the way to get around that is to have multiple points of focus and for the camera to not die miserably when trying to account for it. Um, I've seen it relatively recently, and we addressed this in the Bloodborne streams, but telling me that you shouldn't use a mechanic if it's not working is not an excuse for a mechanic not working. Yeah, you don't use it because it's not working, which is not good. You I, want your mechanics to be functional. I don't know game. that any game could get away with it if it wasn't a From Software game, because like, the fan bases for those games are a little... Yeah, because just get better, lol. Yeah. <laughs> I think what would have happened ages ago was that they saw this and they're like, oh, I guess the way to fight these isn't to use lock-on at all then, because lock-on just fucks you up while on them. And they've been doing it for so long that they see a newcomer or, or someone just commenting on it, and they're like, oh my god, idiot, you're not supposed of to use Lock-On. Of course you're not supposed to use that mechanic in the game. No one does, and everyone laughs at the cafeteria table, and then yeah. the bell rings and all the kids go to the classrooms. And 
I don't know. I uh, I'm one of those people. that's like, hey, how about how about we fix it so it works? That'd be great. And the sad thing is, um, they do have it work when you fight Ludwig in his second phase. The camera angle um, accounts for his full body, and you can dodge all of his shit. It's it's one of the only big beast fights that is like really really good. So they got it right there. I feel like if. If we had more time for Bloodborne, we could tweak a lot of stuff. And by the way, this applies to Dark Souls 1 as well. All of those games, even, oh, dare I say it, most games could um, benefit from some tweaks, you know? Maybe maybe that's considered a significant change, but I don't know. I uh, I just, I don't I don't buy it, and I never will, that if the lock-on doesn't work, don't use it. That's fucking crazy. And I've seen people be like, well, you don't use strafing all the time in other games. You're supposed to use it tactically. And it's like, I've never played... A game where I don't strafe because the mechanic breaks. Yeah, it's because it's not it's not useful in that individual circumstance tactically. It's not because the function is broken. Yeah. And you have to do um you have to do claw hand thing when if you need to control your person's movement, your camera angle, and your attacks and healing all at the same time. I think if you're on keyboard, you're probably alright, but um, on controller, you have to do the thing where you curl your uh, index finger onto the buttons. Which is really fucking annoying, by the way. I don't like having to do it. That's why I like the focus but, uh, mechanic. So now they just need it to work better. Once we have that, because by the way, veteran Monster Hunter player on PSP, um, it was Monster Hunter 2 and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, and just the amount of floor handiness I had to do. And then I I think, was it the DS one that introduced the focus system that was like Dark Souls, and I was like, oh my god. They did it. Hooray. Because I don't want to have to control the camera all the time, you know? Um, where are we? Only watch 35 and would recommend about 6. I have no idea what that's referencing. I've only rec... Say that one more time. So they've watched 35 and would only recommend 6 in relation to either a TV show or a... I mean, it could be EFAP, who knows? Ah, yeah, I, I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Um, King of the Hill is Fuhu King Great. I enjoy King of the Hill. I don't, I don't know that anybody... Has anybody on EFAP ever criticized King of the Hill? I don't really think so. Um, I just haven't watched I don't much of it. Think, yeah, I, I haven't watched it not objectively or anything, but I remember quite liking it in terms of it being, just like amusing and funny. It's pleasant to watch. Was there, it? it is pleasant to watch. There you go. It's a pretty good reputation, from what I understand. Yeah. Um, do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Don't know if that's a quote, oh. but very well. Uh, would it not be the same to learn when and where to use lock-on as it is to learn when and where to roll and ditto damage? No, these rolling works, though. It works whenever you want to use it. It's consistent. There are simply bad times to roll. Like, having it so the camera fucks up and can't show you the enemy because lock-on isn't capable of, like, they haven't, the mechanic is conflicting with walls or it's um, unable to focus on the enemy because they just didn't account for how big it was, or how much is in your face, or when it crosses over you and the camera can't decide between focusing from like one angle or another. And, by the way, I want it to be clear, a lot of games suffer from this problem. It's really hard to get cameras right. And I, I... Yeah, it's, the, it's a never-ending struggle with video game developers to get camera angles right. And you can understand why, because a camera angle is a real... It, it's it's I can see why it's really difficult to get it correct, especially if it's a game in small places that have a third person camera element to them. Um, however, when it's bad, it's still bad and it should still yeah. be criticized. Which is OK, which is oh, okay. and if there was an instance where I tried to jump and it just didn't work, bet your ass I'm calling it out. I'm not going to be happy about that. And if someone said, well, the, you weren't supposed to use jump there, I should be like, oof, or roll. Mm -hmm. uh, will y'all ever do an EFAP dedicated to Halo with the Actman, Reykjavik, and others as possible guests after an EFAP gaming playthrough of Halo 1 through 4? I mean, it's possible. Do that. 
Yeah. You never know maybe. where EFF's gonna go. You know, one day, guys, the DC EU arc will be in the distance. You know, be like, remember when we did that? Yeah, that was hell. You know, in terms of shitty media. But um, but who knows what arc will be on at that point? Could be the Halo one. Could be the Revenge of the Sith one. We never actually got to that. We always planned to. Our people, our, our, our fans need to know that we think Revenge of the Sith is poopy ranks. Gotta do it. Revenge of the Sith is the best of the prequels. There, yes. there you go. It's the best of the prequels. Be satisfied. Oh. Uh, back to the chapel, go up the big stairs, past the sack dude at the top left, and follow an open area with the giant's entrance on the right. Presume that was helpful at the time. Thank you very much. Probably, yeah. Um, also, someone said Cinematic Venom loves Buffy and Angel. They wanted to hear, have you hear the good news. <laughs> that, I mean, I like it when anyone likes Buffy and Angel. But as you may be aware, people from the Discord, there's a Buffy and Angel channel, and I, I am averse from visiting it because everyone has very bad opinions about Buffy and Angel. And uh, I think I said someone was talking about how much. Um, they were, they were annoyed about talking about Buffy and Angel with somebody, and I was like, Buffy and Angel fans have the worst Buffy and Angel takes, and it's it's infuriating. Because Theo recently finished Buffy and Angel, and uh, he's, he's been losing his mind in that channel with some of the things people say. You, you'll know this pain one day, Ranks. They, um, oh boy. I suppose the equivalent would be like, if someone said, I absolutely love Civil War, and you're like, why? And you're like, oh, I love how much they portray uh, Iron Man to essentially be villainous because he's teamed up with the Ugh. government. Like, I love that they stay... It hurt. Stop, it hurts. Yeah, you're, you're just, you're just like, brain. no, 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 you fucked up. No more like, of this no. torture. It's good, though. It's good that the government is strictly evil and that Iron Man teams up with them. It shows his flaw, and you're like, what are you... <laughs> you just want to die. The government thought we'd evil. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting to maybe talk to him about that. You better have the correct favorite character. You can't like other characters more, otherwise I will be upset. Um, boop, boop. Uh, do you always use a weapon for its pure gameplay advantage, or do you ever use a weapon just because you like it despite it being technically weaker? Um, I guess at that point you'd be asking, do I ever use it for its look rather than its power or effectiveness? And I suppose this could expand to more than just Bloodborne. Um, I there's a lot of weapons in Bloodborne that are really cool. Um, but if they if I use them for a little bit and they're not as effective, like straight up as my more basic or standard weapons or whatever, I'm probably just gonna switch back to them. I like me some stylish weaponry, but I like being effective more. Yeah, um, I'm a big fan of variety. I love variety in video games, um, and I will absolutely use guns that are not as objectively powerful. Uh, just for the sake of something either cool or something new or just as a little challenge to myself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And there, I just think there are too many examples to name when it comes to um, just using uh, all kinds of different weapons. I do it in Battlefield 1 all the time in particular because there's a lot of guns in that game that are just objectively not nearly as good as other options. But they're just either cool to use or fun or you just want to challenge yourself. Yeah. Uh, if you thought that Rags was mean, check out videos made against Tyrone Magnus before he bans people just for disagreeing with him. He has God sanity. Uh, okay. Huh. I mean, it, it shouldn't be a shock that there are people meaner than Rags on the internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually quite reasonable. Quite bubbly. Uh, right? Yeah. Doesn't like Me? when people avoid questions. Because yeah. they're scared of the answers they're gonna give. Yeah, I'm. I give what I get, and I, I treat people like adults. So if you're being a slimy weasel, then I'm gonna treat you like one. But I'm absolutely going to be a good faith interlocutor if you uh, are, are want to engage in a conversation in that way. Absolutely. Hmm. Well, you're aware that you're not trying to fall off, right? The goal is to die as much as I can until I realize where I'm supposed to go. All right. This game works. That means I'm good at it. World record. Uh, you guys enjoy RE4 when using Infinite Thompson? Um, in a silly way, but eventually no. Yeah, I would say that would be a novelty that would run out pretty quick for me. Yeah, I 
it's fun because that it's why you would you would enjoy it more if you played it through a second time and you understood how difficult some of the encounters mm. could be and you just got an unlimited ammo Chicago typewriter and you could just mow everything down um, because you're comparing one experience with another. However, uh, by itself, no, it's not really that fun at all because you're just Yeah, imagine that was just the base experience. Like, that game would be considered awful, probably. Yeah, definitely. I, I guess that comes back into our whole discussion about, um, like, player freedom and power, I guess, sort of. Yeah, um, Mark Brown that's why a lot of games slowly but surely progressively give you more and more power. Mm -hmm. You don't just have a crap ton of it. Uh, the entrance is behind the giant you killed in the open arena. Thank you very much. Would it not be the same to... Oh, wait. Read that one and that one. Oh. Horrifying. Um... Do you guys like Sekiro? I have not played it. I played it a little. I was fine. Oh, not my thing, I guess. Um, I think Mel liked it. He prefers Dark Souls 1, and I think Fringy's played it for at least a couple of hours. I can't remember what he said about it, though. That's all I know. Uh, look up Darth and his videos about Luke Skywalker. I think an EFAP one of his vids would be very interesting. He's a sort of bizarro just right. I think this message has been sent before because I'm familiar with the name Darth at this point from Super Chance. Mm -hmm. Shall have to be looked into and shall possibly be covered. Who knows? Um, Sneeds, Feed, and Seed, formerly Chucks. All right. Sometimes you just don't know what to say, you know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what to not sure what to make of that. Fringy, don't be a dingo dial like Rama Rama. The petrol goes in the car, not up your nose. Learn from Rama Rama's mistake before it's too late. Yeah, I mean, I've always advised against putting petrol in your nose. Um, I'd hope. Fringy... I wouldn't do it myself. Yeah. Haven't done it myself, but um, uh, just guessing it probably wouldn't be great. Recommend against. Um, as a guy with two knives now, thanks to Christmas Gift, I can say having two is pretty terrific. Good. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather yeah. have two knives than one. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you could probably find a way to make use of two in a way that's more, you know, useful than one in, in, in many instances. And a backup knife? Like, damn. Useful. Um, wasn't there an episode where everyone hated Bart for falling at a, failing at a baseball game? All I know is that it's the worst episode of The Simpsons. Failing at a baseball game. That is not ringing any bells for me, but it very well be it may be possible. Super Monkey Ball Turbo. Yeah, I, I think anyone who likes Marvel or Super Monkey Ball should probably play the uh, others. Because funnily enough, I played Marble Blast Ultra on Xbox Arcade back on the 360. Those were fun days. And I think this game is just that game, but with a different name, or maybe it is different, I don't know. Um, anyone ever watch Family Matters? Pretty good. I don't think I did, no. Don't, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, everyone who has trouble socializing should watch Seinfeld. It unironically helps a shitload. Hmm. Alrighty. Here you go, guys. If you're having some trouble. Hmm. Wow, using Soul Cleaver instead of Church... Church pick, laugh my ass off, you don't even know what's, uh, that it's objectively the best weapon. I can prove it, fight me daddy, ooh ooh, oh my god. Can't we all just use the weapons we want to use without ooh -oos? Uh, have you seen... Have you seen do teens and college kids think Seinfeld is funny? One of the cringiest videos I've ever seen. Apparently Seinfeld is offensive. Well, of course. Of course it's offensive, everything's fucking offensive. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I'm surprised that there's not like a compilation of how we need to get rid of it. There probably is, actually. Probably is, yeah. Bolt cut up to the right. Thank you. Mine, Microsoft is not playing the con console war anymore. They're playing the service market. If it's easy for games to reach people, they'll be happy to pay. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's what 
uh, Gabe Newell said is that the biggest problem with piracy is just that if, if you give people an easy option to buy things, just make buying it easier than pirating it, and that will solve a big part of the problem. Yeah. And, uh, Don't having give people to... extra steps when they want to just buy your product. It's, it's just funny to me the whole like when Netflix came out everyone was like oh my god it's amazing all movies and TV are just in this one spot and now that there's about eight different major streaming services to sign up to it's starting to become like we're back to square one um because you have to subscribe to all of them to get all of them and then remember which ones are coming out on what things but um Netflix now has like lost so many of the IPs it had because everybody wants that pie Hey, uh, we got Falcon and the Winter Soldier is coming out in like a week's time. Right? Are you excited? Oh boy, my my faith in Marvel shows is super high right now. Yay! For those wondering, no expectation of an EFAT mini for those. I don't I don't know that they would work with it. Um, but we'll I definitely think WandaVision talk about would have worked um, if we did them in clumps, like like four episodes at a time, maybe, or made a couple, or maybe. something like that. But... There's a lot of dry, like, not much to say. Like a lot of, I remember watching a few episodes and just sort of absorbing and being like, hmm. Yeah. Because um, I didn't think Mando would work, but it did. So. I think Mando is just, uh, you just have to start to realize how fucking stupid everything is, and then it becomes very easy to have a lot of fun with the commentary. Yeah, very easy to just go at it. Um, have you heard the rumor that Bloodborne might be getting remastered, and that said remaster might get a PC release? That would be wonderful. Um, the game deserves people to be clamor for. higher than fucking 30 FPS. One day, guys. One day. Uh, question. Is ease of creation slash effort needed necessarily exclusive from quality? Say that one more time. Is ease of creation slash effort needed necessarily exclusive from quality? I, I I'm, don't quite understand what they mean. I'm uh, going to go ahead and wonder if um, they're asking uh, like the quality of the thing and the effort put into it connected at all in any way significant way technically speaking but it uh, I, I, not um it, it often is but not necessarily whenever we see something that's like amazing I, I like i have to assume loads of effort went into it whenever i see something that's really shit i'm like oh a lot of effort really might have gone into this as well yeah Please yeah there's plenty of things where a lot of effort goes into it and it's just bad plenty of YouTube videos, big Hollywood productions. Yep. Like the like the fucking um, the Snyder movies, superhero movies, they're horrible and a lot of work went into them. Mm -hmm. um, assuming I think it's about, it, it's about executing good ideas well. Yeah. And that's assuming that that's what this person was saying. I'm not sure if they were. Uh... JJ McCullough's recent Simpsons critique. Would love to see you guys respond to this. I don't agree with it, but I think it's really interesting and original. I have not heard anything I... about it. Yeah, I do not know really much at all about The Simpsons. I've never really watched the show. Perhaps someday, uh, I don't know, me and Frank could take a gander. Because uh, that's not a show that I would want to put you through. It would take a fucking while. Then again, yeah, maybe, maybe and it, it got would. renewed <laughs> for even more time, too. Yeah, it's up to, it'll be 34 seasons now at least. Wow. That's a lot of seasons. Ever listen to the Ricky Gervais show? I did. Um, there's plenty of funnies in there. Well, Carl Pilkington. I'm assuming you haven't, Rugs. I have not, though I know of it. Mm-hmm. Um, upgrade your weapons to use a couple madman's knowledge. Or, well, and use a couple madman's knowledge. I think we eventually did uh, both of those things, you know. Race formats can have you doing different things at different times first and all that. EFAP stocks when? I'm afraid you cannot stocks. invest in EFAP stocks just yet. Maybe one day. You could just 
direct donations and watching, you know, being a part of the audience. Yes. Question for Fringy and Rags. Which type of brutes are your favorite to fight? The brutes from Halo 2, 3, or Reach? Um, I don't remember enough about fighting the brutes from 2 and 3. I haven't played those in a long time. But I think from memory, from memory I'm going to say Reach, but I'm not super, like, bold with that position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I I don't have a preference. I'm not quite sure I remember all the differences. Uh, I get the Mandalorian has some problems, but I don't know if I could swallow the Mandalorian is worse than Batwoman pill just yet. Can you help me understand why Mandalorian is bad in your eyes? I don't. Th have we ever come um, worse than Batwoman? I don't know. We've we've probably said they're similar. Yeah, I don't uh, think I'd say think, it's worse. I think you can argue that they're very similar in terms of how bad some of it gets, but. Definitely. Um, if you Easily. ask me to pick a worse show, it would be Batwoman. Yeah, Batwoman is a worse show. Batwoman is... It's really bad. Also, this was... Um, presumably, this was sent relatively recently, after all the Mando coverage. I was going to say, like, just watch all the Mando minis. Like, we go through extensively everything that we think is wrong. Um, absolutely. Oh, yeah. If, there were, if you're asking for like a general sort of thing, it's just Mandalorian's writing is incredibly incompetent and they rely on nostalgia to get you to enjoy it because they can't create stories of their own. Um, everything yeah, that happens a... in any dramatic sense is built on incredibly shaky ground. Contradict themselves all the time. I wish it were better. <laughs> I find, I mean, it was entertaining, like, we were laughing at lots of it, but, like, Batwoman obviously makes me laugh a hell of a lot more, usually. Um, it's it's incompetence is usually a little bit more fantastical, where you'll have Mandalorian is, like, shot at and it, a lot of armor protects him. Batwoman might, like, you know, it's usually a lot sillier, I guess, a lot of the time in, in, in how the stupid shit happens, because Mando's trying to be cool. But Batwoman's like made by idiots trying to be cool. It's rough. Can't wait for more though. Um, I can't wait for a, a second. Believe the Imperial remnants at the end of season one. Oh, sorry. I can't for a second believe the Imperial remnants at the end of season one were able to defeat the Mandalorians. How awful must they have been if they were beaten by those troopers? Yeah, it's one of the big issues with the writing. Yeah. When they just want something to happen for it. Because that show is ready in a heartbeat to uh, to absolutely abandon logic and reason to have mm -hmm. even just a few moments of drama. Because remember, they never revisit that again. It's they just leave. that's just the thing that happens because it's dramatic and it it's never ever brought up again. They ever. leave all that Mando armor too. Yeah, they leave it all. Um, there's just the blacksmith who's there, and she's just like putting it back in a forge. And I guess she—it's all it. You, what the fuck's going on? It's um, just so weird. I've heard the rationale that they were all killed by the um, the super death trooper things, but then that raises the question: of Where the fuck were they in the finale then? Yeah, where were they in the finale? How come they weren't dispatched sooner to get Mando? I was told that. Um, well, it'll be in the video, but I was told that they used an arc pulse generator, which, because um, I was talking to some people, and I mentioned this as an issue with the show's writing, and apparently it's this machine that it's only it only shows up in one, it only shows up one time, it's only present one time in a episode of Star Wars Rebels, hmm. um, and it is destroyed in that episode, uh, but it like it. Like, it, it shocks Mandalorians in their armor, the Beskar, and it, like, vaporizes them. Why didn't they use it on but, Mando? <laughs> yeah, but, so I said, okay, well, if that's the case, where is it? What happened to it? How come they don't use it against Mando? How come no one ever mentions it or alludes to it? And I was told, well, they don't have it anymore. Oh. Uh. So... It's almost that. One of those instances was yeah. like, how did this happen? Well, they had the thing they needed to make it happen, and they also lost that thing after they used it to make the thing happen. You're like, right. And that is correct, chat. <laughs> um, they uh, they simultaneously make a joke about Stormtrooper aim in the same episode when they kill all the Mandalorians. That is correct, <laughs> because they want everything 
They want it all. They want it every way. Season 2 is only slightly worse than Season 1, I'd say. Only slightly. Did we ever decide on that? I am I am torn. I have a I have a very I have, especially at this point I have a pretty extensive knowledge of this show. I don't know which one is worse. They are bad. They are both very bad. I would probably say episode two or sorry. I'd probably say that season. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's tough. I don't know. It's really tough. Um, is gay marriage legal in Wakanda? Well, I don't think we ever found out. Probably not, because it's not. in Africa, and let's be fucking honest here. They're not exactly a very progressive over there. Um, lasers don't have recall in real life. Why would they, why would they in space slash sci-fi also love you guys? Hi. Do they have so, recoil in... What do you mean lasers don't have recoil? Why would a laser not have re... So, a laser... So, if something is going out the front, there has to be something coming out the back in terms of energy, because laws of, you know, the universe. And also, we need to know the mechanism by which it expels it. We need to know... Um, no, I, I need to know more about lasers and how they work. Um, like, what is the mass of the laser bolt? Because it has to have some kind of mass to it. It needs to have something. It needs to stick together without dissipating. It has to be either super condensed, it has to be something. Um, but I, um, yeah, I, I need to know more. Like for instance, the, like if you were, if you were to tell me, if you were to hand me a, so if, if I was someone who didn't know anything about firearms and you handed me a, a, a Makarov, a little, little Makarov pistol and said that this Makarov pistol has much, much more recoil than this and then they handed me an anti-tank recoilless rifle maybe they didn't tell me that was the name i would not believe them mm -hmm. i would not believe them even though all kinds of missile launchers are literally recoilless rifles because there's no recoil because all of the energy just goes out the back it's not being stopped by you it, it there's no recoil to it when a makarov is extremely uncomfortable to shoot so there i need to know the mechanism so I, I, I gotta, I need something to work with. Because I can believe it either way, but, um... Well, so the, this yeah. is the thing. If they had guns shooting normal bullets and stuff, but then they were like, oh, we've engineered it with some kind of material that is sci-fi-tisms that counterbalances the forces or something to prevent recall as much as possible. Like, right, okay. Um, at the same time, do they show lots of recoil for a... Guns and laser guns and Star Wars typically. Not, not usually. Just a. It depends on. Honestly, it just depends on the actor. Yeah. If the actor remembers to kind of show a little bit, then. Uh yeah, and I said laser is light, no mass. So let me tell you something about light. Oh my light God. is made out of waves and particles. It has mass to it. Um, but it's also they don't shoot light. They shoot like. Like the superheated plasma. plasma bolts, and they have, and, and and I'm thinking they have to have some level of mass to them and be super condensed in order to actually do the damage that they do. Because it has to destroy things. It ha like it punches through metal, depending on what show you watch, and it goes through people and it hits them and it kills them. There has to be something that it does. So, is it, yeah. Um, so I, I got to see what's actually being done. So I, I'm less concerned with the internal mechanics of it, as long as it's consistently portrayed, which it unfortunately is not. And you could thank Mandalorian a great deal for the inconsistent portrayal of weaponry, which is odd because for the character who weapons are my religion, you'd think that they would be a lot yeah. more, they pay a lot more attention to what the weapons do. So. Um. Alrighty, and that is it for the Bloodborne ones. All Bloodborne streams are now completed for the catch-up. Um, this next set will just be from the stream we're doing today. So, Mola, how bad is Angel Season 4? People are scared. It's horribly bad. Um, that's always one that I don't look forward to if ever I'm watching the show with anybody, because they'll start to lose their faith that it's worth seeing anymore. And it's like, I don't know how else to explain it. Season 4 is really bad. Season 5 
they fucking, I don't know, they, they sobered up, put it that way. Um, good luck, you have to watch it if you want to understand how season 5 is, how the events go through, but yeah. You'll make it, I swear. Everyone does. Uh, EFAB Gaming uh, Wii Sports so featuring... Said, go ahead. Oh, wait, let me just, someone said, it does knock people back, so there is force being generated by the blaster bolts. Do there, would be, have to back or force be applied? Yeah, basically, so this, this, this is one of my gun pet peeves. When you shoot someone and they fly back, so if you shoot somebody and they fly back, that means the person doing the shooting needs to fly back even further. Grant mm -hmm. over. I just, yeah, yeah. it's one of those things, you know? But, uh, yeah. Um, just the whole thing. Um, you have gaming Wii Sports featuring Rags when? Be when Rags releases the video, you know? Esports? Yeah, Wii Sports. Oh, no, I'm, I'm no good at, I'm no good at Wii Sports. Damn. Uh, what makes some good stories work despite broken plot elements? Example, Father's Powers in FMA Finale, also high rags. Hi. Um, good characters can make up for bad plots in a lot of ways. Plots can be horrible, but if there's really cool characters who are yeah, well-written, interesting, uh, informed, and explained in ways that are intuitive and make sense, then I am totally down to give it somewhat of a pass. You know, well, not like it doesn't excuse the bad stuff, but it definitely elevates it. We, we talked about it a whole bunch, but like the idea of um, categorizing flaws instead of saying, I have noticed a plot hole, therefore story bad. It's, wait, what was it and how much did it affect? Because it's really important that, um, say for example, you're trapped in, in a swimming pool and then a sludge monster comes out of it inexplicably. And then it's, it's, I don't know, it, it also has guns and shooting them everywhere. You should be like, what, what in the fuck, like, what, what is any of this? And there's no explanation, it's just normal world, I don't know, it happened. Like, plot-wise, we're like, this isn't very impressive. However, well-developed characters having to deal with something like that, like, I'm still interested. And if they can comment on how absurd this all is, that probably helps endear me to the story as well. Um... And, and and so it's only until they start acting out of character that I think is when my immersion starts to just be broken beyond rescue. Uh, if you know you know like major plot holes is just like oh we've we've only got um in we can't get any more pim particles in Endgame right or they just they mm. just say that we have a limit and then they randomly are like actually no we can get more now like th that is an interesting oh. plot hole because it. It's not just a hole for the story prior now, but it's also just indicative of how stupid everybody is. And so it hurts, like, my understanding. It's not... It, it's like the difference between holes being, um, as a result of... It, people have to be stupid for these things to happen, or it's just, like, the universe breaking. Like, a, a gun just stops firing when it's supposed to have more bullets. And the character's like, wait, what the fuck? I thought I had more bullets. And, you know, they lampshade it, but they never actually deal with it. And you're just like, excuse me. And it's like, well, that's the plot hole now, I guess, or a plot issue until they resolve in some way. But it's not the fault of the character, and so it doesn't affect your um, enjoyment at that point. So is Endgame worse than Age of Ultron? I'd have to watch Age of Ultron again, but I'm pretty sure the characters are mostly okay in that movie. Um, for example, that, that, there you go, that's a good example. Uh, Ultron is in the internet. GG, everybody. Oh wait, if we get Vision to grab him, he can pull him out of the internet fully. Like, what? What? How? I would... Like, how could that possibly work? Like, Internet gas. He would have he would have uploaded himself to all networks, and thus he could then put himself onto like all local networks, and then all just USBs and laptops, and like there's no way Vision can get to all of that. Yeah, like he's just one entity that you could reach in and pull out. So, uh, yeah, we're done, but... The characters, like, that's a plot fuck-up. The characters being told that that's the case and that they can use that is like, well, that doesn't destroy them. It just makes the plot really Yeah, they're shit. like, oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that's such an awesome thing. Oh, man, all right. So, yeah, um, I think a lot of stories can survive um, if you if you keep your characters going. It's what Buffy relies on in the earlier seasons is the, the characters being people you actually care about despite the plots and the world building have some serious problems. Like, well, I like these people. Um, in Mark Brown voice. This is a super chat. 
It conveys a viewer's ideas to the streamer for a price. That's too much information. Yeah, that's uh, that's like an explanation. <laughs> Can't have that. Uh, holy hell, I just skipped through the huge article. This huge article is probably one of the most liable I've ever seen so far, and it mentions a ton of YouTubers and just labels them alt-right, including you. It's really long and bad. Yeah, I'm, uh, I saw that. Don't appreciate it at all. Um, what's funny is I was talking to Jay about it, and uh, I, he might be naive or whatever, but I was just like, it really sucks that they've just taken one clip of me saying that, um, you know, it, Rose didn't have the decency to die. Because um, out of context to a lot of people, that's just going to make me look like kind of a crazy person, I think, to a degree. Um, or, or potentially. And he was like, what? No, it's a funny joke. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. <laughs> it's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why it's Young, in there. Young, sweet, innocent Jay. But, like, you take, you, you deliver that quote to someone of the completely opposite of the position, they're probably going to be like, wow, these people are psychopaths. He wants to kill uh, the actress, whatever her fucking name yeah. is. Like, I, I can vaguely remember writing it. I thought it was funny. A lot of people laughed at it. I'm it like, was yeah, funny. Did it. Calling yeah. her Shrek is... Calling <laughs> Rose Tico Shrek is hilarious. Oh, you hate women. It's so weird. Like, we... The idea that I push people to the alt-right. It's like, all right. You watch EFAP. Like, when does... I don't even know what could possibly... This is this is why we... we uh, like, EFAP as a thing got removed from... Or Moolah got removed from that transparency tube thing. It's just like, where exactly are you getting this from? Point me to the episode where we, like... Like, hey, you know, the alt-right? Pretty neat. Oh, no, they got oh, clipped that. There he said it. <laughs> Uh-oh. They got it. They got it clipped now. It's all over, everyone. We tried. The experiment of EFAP is over. Uh, when will it be an EFAP movies for the Crudes and the Crudes 2 starring Shad? I have no idea. I don't. Even, I've only heard that apparently the Crudes 2 is good from Twitter. I, I don't heard know. it's funny. So, uh, yeah. Um, also, you got to check out Rango. It's such an underrated animated western. I love Rango. <laughs> I've only ever heard good things about Rango. I've not seen it though. I like Rango. Now uh, make sure you read this quote at the end of my. 127 uh, super chats. I'm talking scorched earth, blank, blank. I will blank you. I'll blank you up. That's Tropic Thunder. And um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be better contextualized at the end of the <clears throat> 127 catch up, but I'll try and remember it. Could the, th the Flash theoretically punch as hard as Superman? I think I read that one out. It's complicated because obviously. Um, a car going at 10 miles per hour is going to hurt still, or maybe not, depending on the context there, but... It um, will, yeah, not much. But like a, uh, a pillow going at a thousand miles per hour will likely hurt more. Fuck you up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, if the dragonfly is moving fast enough, it will obliterate that semi. Yeah. They just don't often. Even though dragonflies are the fastest insect, I believe. Pretty cool. It's very cool. Dragonflies are fucking boss. Uh, all Star Wars Big movies. Here, I don't know if you have them. I don't know. Um, I'd have to have a look at like if we. I probably. I'm pretty sure I've seen dragonflies, but um, I could have been mistaken. Cause we get them around here, and they are big, but they're cool. They have a cool name. You know, putting dragon yeah. at the beginning of any thing is like yeah, you kind of. Yeah. Um, like Komodo dragon. It's like damn, that's a cool name. Mm -hmm. uh, all Star Wars movies for EFAP 100 movies? Um, possible? I think we could do EFAP movies, the the original trilogy maybe. That could be something we do. Yeah, we could. Because we did Lord of the Rings and those are good. Yeah. But the difference is all of the Lord of the Rings trilogies are good. True. Hmm. I'm doing a deep delve into EFAP episode 1 through 128 fully. I'm still on full dive episode 5, and thus far, Jard videos calling Rags a queer has been the most shocking. What do you mean a deep dive? Jard. <laughs> it just says Jard, yeah. Jard. You like analyzing them, seeing, them seeing what can be said about the subtext, the themes. Themes of the EFAPlings. 
Um, as another commenter said, Twin Perfect. I believe in the death of the author 0%. Also Twin Perfect. I'll let the video speak for itself. Yeah. Yeah, that Pretty escaped funny. us at the time, but it was oof. Uh, just finished season 3 of Buffy, enjoying it, but there's uh, been a quite a bit of tism, mostly in the standalone episodes. On an unrelated note, where do you draw the line between dark and edgy? Um, probably like substance. Like, um, edgy seems to be more specific things, whereas dark is more of a tone, a general tone that something has. Maybe they mean the dichotomy between edgy and deep. But like... Oh yeah, edgy isn't deep. Edgy is more superficial. Yeah, that's kind of I think what sake. I was thinking about. Just like the difference being how substantially it's like, um, I guess addressed rather than, it's like, you have a guy like Punisher. I would say without any context, he's pretty edgy. Like, oh yeah. With the skull and the you know, but um, you get all the context for why he is the way that he is. The storyline's pretty damn good and harsh. At least mm -hmm. from what I understand. So, um, yeah. yeah, like, I think that's the, the primary difference. And so, when you have someone being like, hey, my lightsaber's black, like, all right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, as for, uh, I'd be curious what you, the tisms for Buffy Season 3, you think, are, because it's uh, a pretty strong season. No season of Buffy has uh, perfect writing or anything, but I, I'd be curious. Read Star Fight on Amazon, please. I need to grow a viewership before I die of plot poisoning. The book, the series, Star Fight. Okay. If you guys want to read the Star Fight, apparently on Amazon. I just accidentally clicked on EFAP84 and realized I didn't finish the last hour or so. Help, I don't want to go back. Gotta do it. That's the, that's the TPM debate. I'm pretty sure that that was like, it went a lot better toward the end. Because we, um... I think so, yeah. We started to get much more involved. We wanted to direct it into, like, the actual main plot points yeah, instead of... Yeah, I got... Yeah, I was getting a little... Uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to move on from the title crawl of the first episode. <laughs> it was too long even I for think... us, guys. Yeah. Eventually, I was like, the, the greedy Tread Federation wanted money. Let's fucking move on, please. Please. <laughs> I heard you guys are doing a few EFAPs in a row. God damn it, I'm only at 59, you massives. I'll catch up by 200, I'm sure. So, there are two, there are currently two EFAPs that have been recorded that haven't been released. I'm just looking for the right sort of timeline to pop them out. Uh, which means we're up to 131, technically, I think. They will be given the appropriate names as we progress. But, um, yeah, don't worry, you won't be starved for content anytime soon. You'll be alright. Nope, we got a lot of things. Um, oh no, I accidentally activated the console. Uh, you've seen only Fools and Horses and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Would recommend, if not, some of the funniest comedies I've seen. I used to watch a bit of Only Fools and Horses back in the day, but not lots of it. As for um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, I watched it when I first watched Big Lebowski. And um, I ended up re-watching Big Lebowski, but not Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, but I'm pretty sure I, I remember it being good. What about you, Rag? I do like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I saw it a while ago. Mm. Um, really liked it. I haven't seen the other one, though. The British TV show, the other one. Oh. Two Rags. I've noticed a lot of people lately call you out on your seemingly aggressive attitude towards others. Do you think sometimes you may be overdoing it a little bit? Either way, stay cool. Uh, I might sometimes overdo it, but no times come to mind. I think I respond appropriately to what I'm given. Um, I don't think that I am particularly unreasonable ever. Um, but I don't let people's attempt at a feigned innocence... Uh, an aloofness fool me. Uh, if people are adults, they're capable of engaging in conversations in good faith, and when they don't, then yeah. obviously they're, then they're wasting my fucking time. You know when um, when Yazan said the world was better off with the millions of people burned to death? Um, I'm pretty sure we were just stunned silent, but you could easily have justifiably have had a person like 
fucking rage at him for that, being like, are you insane? Like, what the fuck are you advocating for? What is wrong with you? Like, uh, can you think this shit through? Do you remember the conversation went on to, like, is a million people burned worth a million freed slaves or something like that? And it was like, oh, jeez. Um, what, what I'm getting at is that there's so many different ways to respond to so many different things, and... Um, being 100% calm, cool, and collected, no matter what they say to you, is not necessarily the correct thing to do. I don't, I don't even know why it would be seen that way instead of pushing back and actually getting someone to commit to or acknowledge their positions. If, like, I don't think, I think the, the, the line would be, where does your, um, does your emotional reaction to something get in the way of being reasonable mm -hmm. or having reasonable positions or opinions? Yeah. But I don't think it has um, um, for the, me. The thing is, is, as much as someone could be like, oh, you were too mean, it's like he was given, much like everybody who comes on EFAP, ample opportunity to uh, speak a lot of the time. Yeah, we off yeah and I was, I was totally nice to him at times to try and reset the conversation, and he wouldn't take it. So, yeah, I I do not regret a single thing I did with him, and I wouldn't do it any differently. Um, this one just says, wait. <gasps> wait for what? ELJ for EFAP um, Movies 100? Seems a fitting way to celebrate the misery that brought us all together. Um, That's an interesting idea. What if we did, like, ESB... Uh, Revenge of the Sith and TLJ or something, like one from each of them. I don't know. We'll figure something out. It's a really far way off. We've only gotten to EFAP movies 20 in nearly three years, or coming two and a half years, I guess, so... Yeah. It'll be some time, but we'll think of something. TLJ could work, though. Uh, That's a good shout. It could. That'd be interesting. Um, but let me use the little. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. This level's all weird. I don't know what's happening. It's terrifying. Now we've already nearly been going for two hours. Time flingle flangles. Am I right, chat? We've um we've got two EFAPs worth of super chats to still catch up on, but I'm glad we've gotten all the Bloodborne ones done. And the uh all the Streamlabs are done too. It is regrettable that, um, it was funny, I was actually in a conversation for about five seconds with Cinematic Venom, and, uh, it couldn't, couldn't be continued, because, uh, we get, we rarely get strong opportunities to be able to, uh, do these catch-ups outside of, obviously, the main EFAPs, and, um, we got a long one tomorrow, potentially, EFAP, we're gonna do a full breakdown of WandaVision Season 1, hope you guys, are. Uh, more than excited. I gave it a rewatch. That show is, um, is Stinky Poo Poo, I think is what they correct terms for it, so. Make of that what you will. We'll be going through a whole bunch. And we got, I know that we definitely have rags coming on. It's gonna be great. And, uh, and Fringo. Metal will not be joining us. He has not seen such television. And I don't think he ever will, because I'm probably gonna advise against it. Um, then again, if he wants to see Doctor Strange 2, he should probably see it, right? Ugh. That's the world we're in now, everybody. You cannot escape shitty media if you wish to consume the potential for good media in future. How about that? Yeah. Uh, goodness, you back? Huh? I heard a sneeze. So I yes, I am. I am back. I made a noise as I hopped up onto the chair because I am a dog. Hmm. Um, holy shit, why the fuck are Super Chats two times as expensive on phone? Jesus fucking Christ, YouTube, fuck you. So... Are they? I happen to have heard about this already, and what I saw on Twitter as a justification, or an explanation, is that, um, it's because they're done through the app, the YouTube app, rather than a browser, and that means the, the app has to Apple take... Apple takes a share? Yeah, yeah, that's essentially the reasoning. Um, so, lame, but I guess... I don't know if- is that new? I would have thought that I would have been- I can't even- I had no idea. I don't watch YouTube or do that on my phone. I had no idea. Yeah, I- I, I don't do Super Chats through my phone if, ever. I don't think I've ever If I knew that. about it in the past, I've forgotten. Uh, uh, oof. But you know, you- you know, Google really needs that 30% of your Super Chat. They really yes. deserve that. Um... 
Oop, lol, Google charges them twice as much on their phone for using Monopoly money. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's to do with the whole app thing. Uh, you don't mind if I make an unbridled rage on Lion King 2 Simba's Pride, do you? No? Go right ahead. It is not no, something go I, for it. I consider it, I don't, I don't consider unbridled rage like my own title that no one else can use. You, Everyone can have an unbridled rage, all right? <laughs> Really? Yeah, go for it. Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. I have uh, have a lot of familiarity with that. I have zero familiarity with that. Yeah. I don't even know if it's it's probably dumb. It's probably shit. Um, if Bly Manor is an example of woke SJW forced diversity progressive media, can we get more, please? <laughs> yeah, I'm all yeah, down, I'm go down for, for it. it. Yeah. You make my... My diversity hires have excellent characters. I mean, I'm not going to have much to complain about. Yeah, if their acting is incredible and their characters are extremely well written, go for it. The funny thing is, the, the I would still maintain the criticism I've had since the beginning, which is if, if you go to the hiring process for someone like Hannah and they were like, this person absolutely cannot be white, and they go, why? Well, because it's better if we have black people for diversity. I'd be like, that shouldn't be your focus. But I mean, if you nail the writing, whatever. As we said a long time ago, I think it was during the uh, uh, when we were defending Wolf, uh, his forced diversity video. You can force diversity and still manage to stumble into good acting. Much in the same you way, can. you could have someone be like, Hey, writer, I'm going to enforce several restrictions on you for no fucking reason at all. You have to have seven yeah. women in this scene. You have to have um, someone with drug abuse overcoming it in the story. You have to have a king who is slain by a peasant in this story. Okay, thank you. Bye. You could come out with an amazing story still. Absolutely. It's just like, you shouldn't... I don't like uh, people having to be given restrictions on their stories, but um, we've talked about it before, like, some restrictions can make people uh, find really creative answers, and then they come up with, like, stories that are actually pretty subversive or something, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah, absolutely. If you're really talented, you can make it work. But, but yeah, it can um, be tough. Blind mana, like, I think you have to do a lot of... Uh, square peg into round holing get that one to be like oh they're pushing a woke agenda it's like eh like you know the the whole oh women had it hard back then so did men like okay women had it harder yeah. I, I'd rather be a man back then I'd rather have it hard <laughs> as a man back then than I think that's have the, it hard as a woman that's the question that ends the conversation it's like if you could choose between either one of those types what are you choosing it's like we know what you're choosing obviously a man Um, alrighty, and that is us up to date with today's stream ones as well. So now we jump over to um, yeah. So what we have left now are EFAP one two seven and EFAP one eighteen. So we will start with one eighteen. Sorry, one seventeen. It's the yeah. This is the Wonder Woman breakdown stuff. We 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 are far behind on these ones, but uh, you know what? Getting to them eventually, regardless. And what a good start! You see, this is reminding me of why it is that it's very important to get these answered. So the first one says penis. All right. I am curious for your commentary on that, right? Did you have any to add? Um, no, I have nothing to add. Right. I have nothing to add to that one. I do think it does stand on its own, for the most part. Hello, Moriarty, Doom Source Guy, first of his name. He'd appreciate that. Uh, Happy New Year, Fappers. Yeah, it was th two and a half months ago, but um, Happy New Year, regardless. I've been on this level for ages. I'm getting confused by all of its geometrists. Geometry. New video for EFAB is Patrick Willems. What's the point of R-rated superheroes? He says when a superhero film is R, it's saying that this thing is that was made for children is not made for them anymore. You're in luck. We actually ended up covering that video. Oh boy, man. You must have felt we may even have read out and responded to that very super chat, but no. What a simple what coincidence. Luck. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. Favorite third act or ending to a movie? Mine is Whiplash and The Departed. 
Hmm. Favorite, favorite third, third act? act. That's, uh... I'm probably just thinking of my favorite movies, you know? Yeah, um... Hmm. Favorite third act? Ooh. Hmm. We went for the Ewoks, uh, Return of the Jedi would honestly be a potential. Like the... Not the yeah, Ewoks themselves, the just how they, you know, fuck with the Stormtroopers. Uh... uh... kind of have everything just starts to come together and we have a resolution in our denouement and yes, our, um, you know, big climax. Um, so many worthwhile me saying the prestige because I like everything about it, but I mean, pretty satisfying getting all of the things come together at the end. I don't know. Yeah, where it all starts to come together. Uh, you know what? In a perfect world, WandaVision would have been that thing. Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, wouldn't it have been neat if only the last episode had any references to anything other than the sitcom stuff? And we had to pick everything up from the subtle clues. Uh, so, oh, unironically, just I want to chat's right, Shrek 2. Yeah, yeah, Shrek 2's third act's pretty good. Yeah, where That'll there's the own. marriage, and he she doesn't know that he's Shrek, and it's not right, and... He shows up on the horse and gingerbread man, a giant, and yeah, man, that's a good one actually. Um, they pull milk on the gingerbread man, and his arms fall off. It's horrifying. Um, Played through all the Shrek 2 game for catch ups. <laughs> that's something that happened. Was it better than the movie? No. Uh, the game no. You know, it was pretty good, but the movie is, you know, next level. Pretty, yeah, pretty darn good. Um, uh, let's see. I'm try, I, I'd like to give another example of Shrek 2, just sort of thinking for just a moment to mm -hmm. kind of have... Um, it's kind of a... It's weird that we... I can't say Infinity War or Endgame, but I will say Civil War. Yeah, yeah, so we'll, we'll be up there. Um. Hot Fuzz, sure. Aliens, um. I'm trying to think of how it's sp split aliens act wise. Yeah, aliens is a pretty good one as well. I guess the third act would be. With. Yeah, that's odd with its structure. That one's really odd with its structure. I might argue because you're like, what's the what's the second act low point? And it's like, well, hmm. Yeah, because this is the thing. I feel like it might be too early in the movie, but when they all get killed initially. Yeah, that's like, what I'm thinking. It seems a little though. early. Um, that one's odd. It, it's oddly structured, but it works for that kind of a story and movie. So. Alien Act Three is the nest. I I guess so. But like that's... I suppose it doesn't seem like it takes up enough of the time, if that makes sense. I mean, I might argue that Act Three begins when the aliens uh, find a different way into their um, HQ, and that fight breaks yeah. out. That's like when when the end is near, sort of thing. I don't know. Um, calling acts, or either that, or it's a very, very uh, like a late low point. Like that's the end of Act Two, maybe. Maybe, yeah. It's it's hard to say with that one. A lot of stuff. It's really well paced, which, ironically, almost makes it difficult for you to separate the acts. If it and I, I could, I think you could probably argue it doesn't even really have that structure to it. Not as um I, as straightforward as m uh, many other stories are in terms of. Like yeah, it, it sometimes would be, we watch movies. It would be different enough to be considered its own thing. I'd say. Sometimes we watch movies where it's like very clear and we're like, oh, this is the beginning of Act 3 then. Like, it, this, the break is so... It's like clockwork as well. Because this is what I mean, we mean about like, following rules like this can get you in some trouble. It's like, oh, the characters need to hate each other now because we're at the second act low point. We've got to get them to fight about something. Like, no! Unforgiven? Hell yeah. Yeah. Good at move. Um... Just in time, about to be on a five-hour drive, and this stream will be perfect company. Happy New Year's, you handsome massives. Happy New oh, Year. Oh, thank you. 
Um, have a happy new year up in Mubrington Abbey, Lord Longbone. Give Wags these scritches for being a good boy. Of course. Hooray. The blue fairy has escaped, brother. I... Oh, is this like Sonic and uh, 40k crossing over? Oh, I went to AI. The blue fairy has escaped? Yeah, because you said blue fairy, and I went to that Spielberg movie. I oh. don't know why. I went to it instead of Pinocchio, which is odd. Hmm. Probably because Disney ruined culture with Pinocchio. Yes, Because did. Pinocchio didn't die in a mud puddle or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Die in a mud puddle. <laughs> no, he wasn't hanged, Drags. We needed to be hanged. Oh, yeah, that's fucked up. Don't hang Pinocchio. Oh, the best with Barbie me. movie third act? Oh, I think it's it's um best Barbie movie third act. Ooh. Um Let me try and think here. I'd probably say um I would probably say Princess and the Pauper, honestly. I really want Preminger to get his comeuppance, and I want to see everyone kind of coming together to you know, take care of things. Because I think that one of the things that's great about um, uh, Barbie and uh, Princess and the Pauper is that it's a, it's a lot more grounded of a story. They don't go to magical realms, and there's not like anthropomorphic dragons and things of that nature, which is fine, but it's a lot more grounded in terms of the villain's plot. The villain's plot seemed a lot more... Like it less grandiose, like and actually achievable. Like you could believe just some asshole would try to manipulate the queen into marrying him because of a financial situation the kingdom was in, so that he could become king and get power. Like he doesn't like like if with a couple mistakes, like he could do that in a legal way. Like you could see a version of that story where Preminger actually manages to do that in a totally legal way. Uh but you know what? Uh I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go too far into it. Damn. It's I can we expect a longer analysis for the Bobby franchise? Yeah, well, you know, who knows? Who knows what'll happen? The BC. Who knows? It'll be great. Happy New Year's, guys. Rags, I'm at the final act of Fallout New Vegas. Should I take over New Vegas or give it all to NCR like a good utilitarian boy? Um, oh, follow your heart. Trust your gut. I, I think I, I, I gave it to the NCR. I think kind of where the game could have done a lot better is sort of the ending and how it resolves, I think, could be done a, lot, a whole lot better, in fact. Um, but the game is overall very, very, very good. So... Hmm. Watching Wonder Woman 84 with my family tomorrow, so have to catch this later, but Happy New Year, Massives. Happy New Year. Pick J, keep M. Um, I can't remember if we did. I hope we did. But was J there for the Wonder Woman stuff? I don't think so. Um, if Happy New Year, Massives. Very kind. Oh, you can jump over these things. That all makes more sense now. Donkey is so unfunny it hurts. Well, he is uh he is not a very funny person. Acquired yet. taste, perhaps. Or maybe sure. he's he's getting a little lazy. Who knows? No. What's up, my fourteenth letterinos? Uh Merry New Year of being cucked by China, and may Dawn bless you. How can I send you my memes? Discord, uh, Twitter, Discord. Reddit. They're the best ones. Wow. Um, Arnie should have been the main villain of ST? Star Trek? Sequel trilogy? Um, he wouldn't be the villain compared to those heroes, though. He'd be the... Yeah. <laughs> you know? Snyder? No, um... Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. Someone said you'd expect Rags to not want to side with the big controlling government. So, did you see... So, I don't think the NCR, when it comes to big controlling government, is the worst big controlling government in that game. If we're going to go with big controlling government. Alright? 
NCR is obviously obviously not ideal. None of the en none of the endings are. Um, however, I would much rather have the NCR uh, than the Caesar's Legion in control. But yeah. God damn it. Edicts, yeah, but um, yeah, there there is definitely a, an element of pragmatism that has to be considered. I'm not anti-government. Hi, Rags. Hi, guests. Hi, Prospector M. Hi, Hi Mauler's family. Mauler, stop giving yourself their hi. Gosh, you didn't get one yet. Fine. <sighs> so rude. God. Here's to hopefully a great year for the brood. It's been pretty yeah. good so far. So far, so good, I'd say. Two and a half months, we managed to chill over the DCEU, at, at the very least. I don't forget more. Everything we... is going according to plan. Yes. Chris. There would have been countless references to the DCU and older refabs, and now we finally have that arc. Incredible. No accident that Jay rhymes with the gay. No, I think it's on purpose. You gotta talk about Halo at least once for 117. Also, hi Rex. Hi! Don't know that we did. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure. You should check out Darth. He's a sort of bizarro just right. I wonder what an EFAP on one of his vids would be like. Also, Happy New Year, you merry massive mongoloid massives. Huh? Perhaps one day. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Let's see. Oh, you guys remember my birthday. Accept this stream as a personal gift. Happy New Year to Hooray. all. Aw. Anakin Jingle all the way better actor than Godot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, is Blind Manor better than Hill House? Yes. I would say yes. Yes, Hill House is really good. And then the 10th episode happens. 10th episode is frustrating. Feels like they, uh, they weren't sure what to do. Yeah. And they, they, he wanted the happy ending. His content wouldn't allow it, though, or at least not in that way. Hey, he let himself there. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, Happy New Year, long man. Thank you all for making this year bearable. Also, Moriarty's my favorite guest. Also, also, hi, Rags. Hi, Mola. Keep Jay hot, hot. Thank hey there. Much. Hello. Yeah, Moriarty's a really good guest. Hey. No Baby Yoda in Mando? Who's replacing him? Baby Squat? I mean, maybe. Play your cards, Could right? Be. I'm... I wish they'd replace him with a character. That'd that be, would be yeah, cool. Be neat, yeah. If we have a character like Spoke and Emoted in like gave us our uh, his thoughts or her thoughts on things and could like understand what the protagonist was saying that would be cool because baby yoda isn't a character no. not really it's barely a character add the laser swordsman oh yeah give him time he'll go over it you know and he'll make his own lightsaber it'll be great um, my gran and I finished Bly Manor and it was great. Also, my gran just got out of hospital with cancer and watching the streams have helped me get through a lot of this. Thank you. Also, hi, Rags. Hi! You know, ho hopefully she's alright and, uh... Yeah, I hope so too, man. I don't know if, um... I don't know if Bly could have given some level of, uh... peace or understanding in, in relation to some of the topics it covers, but I, I hope so. It's, um... It can be quite a heavy show to watch, but at the same time it's quite hopeful, I would say. Or, um... Reassuring, and yeah, hope you're uh, you're both doing all right. Top five, top ten wet breads. Oh, how can you make someone choose something like that? Do you have a favorite wet bread, ranks? Um, a favorite wet bread. Hmm. That was I don't know. I don't think so. I don't often have wet bread. Really? They're everywhere. Yeah, it generally, like, I don't, ha when I have bread, you, yeah, I, even though they are everywhere, they just seem to elude me. Um, so I'll pop back to this stream's ones for a moment. 
Uh, salutations, Ragu and Lord Mulchlington. What are both of your takes on Pormo, Pom Palmo, Pomao games? Length versus girth and are traps LGBT? Much love, Don Bless, Uga. Uga? Um, what's Palmao? I have no idea what that is. Oh, I can't comment. As for length versus girth, I I don't what what a uh, what do we what what's the context here? I need to. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. It depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. Like if it's a golf club, you know, that's one thing. If it's a like a support beam to the hold up the foundations of a house or maybe a second floor, then you know that'll depend. What how much weight does it need to hold up? What's it, what's it made out of? Yeah. Um. As for our traps, LGBT, they are gay. Because they are so, trying to seduce men. So they are the G in LGBT. There you go. Nice. I think we nailed them. Uh, if Ray having to be a woman at her inception was an example of forced diversity, is Luke being a man at his, ex uh, at his example forced homogeneity? Um, so... There's like this. This would, could be the very small difference in how it was made. If someone was just like, "I want this character to be this way, and this is who they are," versus someone saying they absolutely have to be a man or a woman, the whole idea. Forced diversity is just um, one of the many um, labels as a subcategory of controlling the writer, and um, or it could come from the writer and they see it as a replacement for storytelling at times. Think about like, oh, the protagonist should be a man. They can't rely on that for good storytelling, uh, even from their point of view, right? They have to actually still write the story and make it good, but uh, or, or do something with it. But mm. the problem with um, being like, oh, it, it simply has to be a woman as long as, as long as we do that, and she's um, of color and also, you know, whatever with the rest of them. It's like, right, we've done half of the work, and it's like, no, you haven't done anything yet. Stop. Yeah, that's that doesn't get you any closer to the goal. So, uh, if there were an example of someone saying, like, uh, to George Lucas, whatever you're writing, it has to be a male protagonist, yeah, that could be a form of, um, restriction. Though I doubt it led him, it would lead anybody to being like, oh, you know, uh, you know, we're pretty much done, as long as we've got a male protagonist, we'll be fine. It's like, I, uh, I doubt it. And, you know, I'm not, um, this might sound, like, really unfair to one side versus the other, but when you have the ma marketing... As our protagonist is a woman, like, okay, that's not anything. And? Yeah, that's... yeah, that doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me if your thing's good or bad or anything. That's not useful information. I can't do anything with that. It made me feel bad that like, Gwendolyn Christie remember was like marketed as the first Star Wars female villain. Like, could you even call her yeah, a villain? And she was not even a character. She was barely in it. It was. It was. Like, you could be forgiven for forgetting that Captain Phasma... I, I often yeah. forget that Captain Phasma was even a character in the in, in that in, in that trilogy. Like, it's weird. Um, but that's what they wanted to do. Because you could tell where their priorities were. And their and priorities yeah. were not creating an actual, good, interesting, well-developed villain. We're overall just in the position of it's a bad motivation to have, and it's just as bad as, well, it can be just as bad as someone being like, I want my story to have explosions in it. As long as it has that, I'll be I'll be happy. And they don't spend any time on writing, they just want to set up scenes for explosions to happen. Like, I mean, I'm joking around, it's like, it's kind of Michael Bay. Like, um, someone said... What did they think? Someone what? saying, Captain Phasma was an action figure. That is correct. Yes. Captain Phasma was an action figure. I believe her action figure sold really well as well. Yeah, I think she was the best-selling Captain Phasma. Someone's asking, who, uh, oh, it's Griff. He's asking, who's Captain Phasma again? That is that is kind of a difficult question. It's it's a, it's simultaneously a difficult and easy question. <laughs> Tell us who she, she is. She was like, nothing and barely anybody. She was the one but she with, was so um, simple. you know, the, you just describe it by how she looks. That's about it. Some chick with blaster-proof armor, basically. That's really all that there is to it. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, second time, when is Bly Manor EFAP movies coming out? I Sorry if I uh, missed you saying that the first time. Um, so, 
we need to get I, I think I've said before I got no idea when exactly it's a it's a big project to make the Hill House one took a long time and I obviously I'm trying to get back on with them the main uh, the boys video but we've got all of us watching it for the first time recorded and I'm gonna try and get the whole team back together again to watch it through again and basically go through commentating spoiler free on what we're noticing that's really strong about the episodes with the knowledge we have of what's to come and I'm gonna try and find a way to combo those up and create the same sort of series as we did for Hill House um, yeah uh, no idea when that would be completed Hey Mola, just finished binging basically all your Star Wars related vids. Great stuff. Lots to agree with. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying them. More to come as time goes on. Uh, Marriage Story is best film of 2019. Driver and Johansson dropped their pants and smeared their acting talent all over our faces. Thoughts slash opinions? Marriage Story is really, really good. I uh, really like it. I can't remember if it was my favorite of 2019. 2019's Joker as well, right? Um... Sure. I, I think so. Yeah, at the end we got a bunch of good ones. We had um, Ford v Ferrari, 2019. Parasite. Yeah, I think I think Ford vs Ferrari was my favorite. Really good. Fully recommend that there, one. The, uh, we got like f four or so really great ones near the end. It kind of fucking saved the year. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I thought Marriage Story was very fucking good. Can Drinka join the second Blind Manor watch party? I don't think he's gonna want to see Blind Manor again. Um, and if we were gonna do like a watch party with Drinka, we'd probably want to try and find something that, you know, he's um, more engaged with or, or, or interested in, like something like Kingdom of Heaven. You know, oh maybe boy. that wouldn't that wouldn't bore him enough to leave, <laughs> right? Nope. Uh, who is Captain Phasma? Star Wars: the Rise of Skywalker. It's, she should have been in Rise of Skywalker, I would say. The Rise of Phasma. It would have been really cool to see her again. And they don't explain it, and then she gets killed. Again. Did yeah, it... she just survives. Because, unfortunately, they have somewhat made it um, a precedented event to have characters who explode and get vaporized return mm -hmm. to live another day. And have lines and motivations and things, so... I like it. I think we said it before, I don't think you can get a more definitive death than vaporization twice over. I don't know if there's a more sig Maybe three times over, I guess, is the next step. Yeah. At that point, I start thinking, does vaporization make him stronger? Mmm, he's powered by vaporization. Oh my god. The truth comes out. <laughs> Opinions on Firefly by Joss Whedon, The Last Kingdom on Netflix, and the new season of The Expanse. Oh, so not seen the new season of Expanse, neither is Rags. Not seen mm -hmm. The Last Kingdom. Um, I'm assuming you haven't as well. Doesn't sound familiar. No. Um, and Firefly, I remember it being pretty good. And there's plenty of videos out there that would go over why, but despite being one season, it was it became a cult classic. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing it again at some point. Mm -hmm. You should invite Vito on to discuss Wonder Woman. He just made a good video about it. Uh, I think we're done with Wonder Woman at this point. Um, until her third movie, I guess. Yeah, I've heard, um, apparently there's a rumor that Zack Snyder is going to be in charge of the next Wonder Woman. Really? I got a big X to doubt on that one. But I don't feel as if Warner Bros. is going to be super invested in giving him more stuff to do. But yeah, the last I, I heard, know. I thought, was that they kind of want him to be done with <laughs> the DC stuff. I don't know. That's what I thought. I guess the future shall hold the truth. I suppose. False. Uh, also, would love to see Meat Cannon slash Flash Gits on sometime. They are welcome to come if they wish. Yeah, absolutely. I recently saw the Cinematic Venom documentary and his coverage of EFAP annoyed me a bit, but also made me laugh with the other guys talking about you. Yeah, that was the, um, I guess he's since changed his mind, but in his documentary, like, <laughs> EFAP is described as kind of, um, terrifying. Like, I think I'm yeah. described as one of the most vicious, like, YouTubers ever. I was just like, wow. Jeez. Um... 
and his friends normally are like, it's me of the yeah. two of us that's generally regarded to be the um spooky you one know, the vicious spooky one yeah Response to Snyder Cut is positive enough that they want Snyder to make Justice League 2 and 3 and follow his plan. I That's not what I've heard. And besides, I'm going to wait for it to be that. out first. Like, surely Warner Brothers want to know what people think of the actual movie, not speculation on the movie. And I don't think that they're successful enough to just give him that kind of control, especially when we see... When you look at, um, like, Aquaman in the tone that it had... Um, which is just like happy go lucky yeah. sludge. Um, I don't know if they want that dark dour Zack Snyder stuff, especially with how they're regarded. It's they're just regarded so lukewarm by general audiences and they are reviled by so many people. I don't know if I was Warner Brothers, I wouldn't let them anywhere near my intellectual property, I'd keep them far, far away. Yeah, I will say, like. On one hand, um, sucks for the DC characters that they're just going to keep getting Zack Snyder making adaptations of them and sequels. On the other, can't say I'm not looking forward to laughing more at um, where he takes them and what he does with them. Uh, though, yeah, I will say that it's interesting to think about. The most fun I've had in the DCU is Aquaman and Justice League, which are both considered like not Zack's creations, obviously. What about um, 84? Oh, yeah, well, again, uh, these these three are the ones that are like Zach. Yeah, so maybe, they're the most unzack Snyder ones. Yeah, because they're terribly written, but also insane. So, like in a yeah. fun way. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, this this whole Zack Snyder arc, the Snyder cut, that's gonna be something. I feel like there's probably gonna be a couple of EFAPs uh, to come on video coverage of that one. I don't know. Four hour movie, everybody. Get your popcorn. Um, I recommend this video about WandaVision by Alex Myers. Now, the video itself isn't what's interesting, but the comment section sure is. I'm actually a little curious. Hmm. Let me give that a look. What's the name of the video? Um, I'm just going to put WandaVision Alex Myers, and we'll see what that does. WandaVision. There we go. WandaVision. Not enough memory to open up this page error code out of memory i have 16 no yeah i have 16 gigs of memory what the fuck hmm um that's bizarre do i have like a bunch of chrome shit in the back that just isn't displayed let me take a look um bizarre um Uh, all right. One division, Alex Myers. It must be a bug or something. Oh, um, Alex Myers. I guess this is the one from a week ago. It's rated as 85%. That's odd. Is it? Um, I've never, I don't know who this Alex Myers He 2.5 million subs. Big old channel. Um,. This is, uh, uh, WandaVision is a good show in my opinion. I loved it. Fucking hell. Uh. Wait, are these comments or the video? The commercials aren't just ra Yeah, these are comments. The commercials aren't just random comments. They're a timeline of Wanda's feelings and how, yeah, I don't, I don't get how, uh, um, tone deaf and dismissive. Wanda oh. isn't just sad, she's deeply depressed and devastated. Oh, it's matter. Okay, wait, so this this is all about like how he's probably yeah. shot on it and they're upset at him then? Yeah, I guess. I already know what we're going to be expecting in terms of WandaVision defenses. But she was sad. But she was sad is going to be the, the main thing. Not good enough, guys. But we'll get into that tomorrow. I suppose so. Um, glad Molly is going to end the year by explaining to everyone why Iron Man 3 is Kino and Civil War sucks because Tony isn't consistent to his first movie. Oh, you troll. Wonderful, wonderful. Little yeah. troll. Could you imagine that was my position? Oof. Um. 
Had RE5 part 2 in the car today when I lost traction on the highway ramp and had to recover from a drift. Kept it on the rest of the drive. High rags. Ooh. Hey. Well, hope you're alright. You know? <laughs> yeah. Something really funny happened or something really disturbing. Did you trail for a moment? Yeah. Oh, sorry. The dangers of listening to EFAP while driving. Uh... What are your thoughts on each of the Netflix Marvel shows? Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Defenders, and The Punisher. Oof. Right. I've seen all of Daredevil. I liked lots of it. I did not like lots of it. Consider it a mixed bag without rewatching it. I watched, I think, half of season one of Jessica Jones, and I, I couldn't stand it. I had to leave. Um, then Luke Cage I've not watched at all, and Iron Fist I've heard is absolutely awful. So... All that's left is Defenders, which I've heard is absolutely awful, and The Punisher, apparently he's not as good in his own show as he was in Daredevil, so. That is my full coverage. I don't think Rags has seen any of that. Nope. I have not. So, would I recommend him? Nope. God, I get past that bit. Here we go. Guys, please, please review any of Ben Shapiro's Star Wars videos. That would be awesome. Also, thanks for bringing so much joy to this sucky year. Hmm. Oh, we reviewed his um, rankings. We did. That was a fun video. Yeah. He's an unusual person when it comes to movies. Well, he's an unusual person, but... Mm-hmm. He's uh, an unusual person when he talks about the Star Wars movies. As for covering him more, I guess, you know, maybe. It depends on what video you got. Someone, I was on, I think Metal Stream or, or Fringies, but someone was like, please cover Steve Shives. Um, he's got a video that's like top five problems with the original Star Wars films. And I was like, oh, that could be fun, assuming he's not like, it promotes f full abadabadism. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not just an orange man bad. Everything's something feminist, feminist, feminist. Like, if he actually like highlights things, you think, you know, that could work, maybe. I'll have to have a look, see. Um, can I far an Arnie wow? I, I, are they asking for Arnie noises? Yow! Kill me! Do it! Ow! I clapped when Mola beat the marble game. I did indeed beat that level. Adam, starting the newest Stormlight Archive book, what were the fights you consulted Sanderson on? I'm afraid we cannot get that answer right now. Uh, Barbara Minerva's that kid in high school who drew comics about killing popular kids. Yeah, probably. Oh, man. Barbara Minerva, another classic villain from the DCEU. Huh? Barbara Minerva, that's, uh, that's Cheetah. Oh. I, d I didn't know about her until one Wonder Woman. I almost said I almost said Wanda Woman because I'm thinking about it. She um, well, this is the thing that I'm I'm even having gaps of knowledge here. Apparently, she is like Wonder Woman's most famous bad guy to fight. So embarrassing. Oh well, yeah, I'm sure the. Oof. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Comic fans must have be loving that one. Mm hmm. Started this year with fapping and listening to EFAP. Might as well make it a tradition. Yeah. Do it. Uh, nice to see Digital Queer on EFAP. Shad beats his. Uh, beats his what? Also, um, that would be a reference to John CJG. Ooh. Yes. Wonder Woman 1984 is the movie Bob of superhero movies. Nobody liked it, not even Movie Bob. <laughs> I think Movie Bob likes Movie Bob, honestly. Possibly the only person who does. He has lots of, remember, he's the one who said something like, um, my bullies would, like, beat me up because I was superior to them. Yeah, he has quite a, quite the Napoleon complex, which is ironic, but. Remember, had Trump not stolen his Halloween, oh, his life would yeah. be so much better. Of course. One day he will get that Halloween back. You watch. One day. Uh. Today is my 34th birthday, you massive. Celebrate with me my birthday at the end of this year. Happy birthday. Number 34. Yeah. Have a really good one. Yeah. 
Uh, do you have an opinion in the Wesley yes. Snipes Blade movies? I like them, but the last 20 minutes of each is pure bad. Yeah, I think they consistently fall apart um, in their last acts, except, of course, Blade Trinity that's just, like, terrible throughout. Um, but that could be fun, free fat movies, I reckon. The Blade movies. Yeah, I'd love to watch them. R-rated vampire killing. Why not? Let's fucking do it. Moist wheat. Also, happy new year. Happy new year. Uh, how's this for having writing accommodate a visual? A kid riding Godzilla, holding onto the back of his neck, shooting flares from the sky to ward off fighter jets in case they accidentally hit him. Uh, that is an interesting image. I can picture it, though. Might be able to get away with it, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, interesting. Definitely. Code Geass is the Mandalorian of anime. Oh. Oh, I, so it's really bad. I don't even know if that's going to upset chat or not. They will decide on that one. Um. Crackball mice, yay or nay? Personally can't play without them. Recommend Logitech M570 if you're into that sort of thing. Also high regs. Hi. I have... I didn't know people still use those. Same, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, if they work for you, go for it. But I would never use a trackball mice. The digital ones are just too good. I guess I'd be curious if there was, like, some kind of breakdown as to the accuracy of both types at their best. Uh, I don't know, yeah. I've been Maybe, using digital yeah. now for ages. They just seem a little archaic. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I can't remember the last time I actually used a ball mouse, you know. Uh, I'm a student of physics and I want to make a full, want to make full YouTube reviews of action superhero movies, simple physics with large focus on their effects on the stakes. What do you think would be a good first film to do? Hmm. Um. Or the Resident Evil movies. <laughs> Maybe they've got some interesting physics in there. I'm not sure. Don't start off too big, like mm. Man of Steel or some shit like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some fight movies. Um, yeah, maybe Fight Club that could be a good one. Good one to start with. Yeah, maybe that. Fifth Element. Maybe something from Jackie Chan. I don't know. Whatever your favorite is, maybe that'd be a good place to start. In terms of like, does it well? Because you can always start off with a good example or a bad example. Really yeah, you good. Uh, did you ever see Belated Media's video where he attempted to rewrite the Star Wars prequels to make them good? Interested to hear the EFAP take. I, I don't know. I'm just not too interested in breaking down someone else's rewrite. Like, yeah. Okay. I'd rather just talk about the thing itself, really. Yeah. Uh, no masses. I want your opinions on sex games. Sex? Like... Um... Like, um... I mean, I... Like dating sims? I, like, I have no issue with the that. subject matter of sex being the subject of a video game. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have any opinions. I'm just like, yeah, go for it, I guess. If it's good, I mean, if it's got good mechanics, I'm totally fine with it. And then the dating sim ones, or um, the like, super seducer and stuff, like some of them seem very tongue-in-cheek a lot of the time and have some fun with it, so yeah, why not? Uh, hoping to see TFA Part 4, any idea when? I cannot say currently. Uh, the Boys Season 2 video is being worked on, it's a... Uh, gonna be long as fuck. It might be that I start production after that one, because uh, I could obviously I'll need to do a quick redraft of where it currently stands and then make it, so it shouldn't be anywhere near as long as a process as the boys. Um, but yeah, it'll come. Just uh, some other stuff to be doing as well. In time, my good folk. Alrighty, we are still caught up on uh, the current stream. Alright. Happy New Year. May our long lords grant you all of your wishes and fill you with love. Also, high rags. Hey there. Happy masses, everyone. We'll check this next year. That's uh, the Wonder Woman stuff, and yeah, hope you have fun with it. Handsome Guy was uh, born as a meme on that one. I, I think VLC was having some fun with us. Might say so. I think it was. 
Hi, I'm Joel, and I just wanted to say hi, Rags, and hi, Mola. How are you? Hi there. I'm Hello. great. Doing good, yeah. Doing playing, good. Playing a marble game. Yeah. Having, having chat with Rags and, and, the, and the chat, you know? He's Life's all good. great. Uh, tears stream down Eric Butt's face, kissing his massive boil. He bellows out an earth-shattering moan as he big cooms with green lightsaber. 10 out of 10. Dude, I can't imagine Eric Butts' reaction to that finale. He, uh... Oh, fuck me. More, more water than man with his tears at that point. He is more... He's more diabetes than person. <laughs> uh, Amelia Clark stole her eyebrow movement. Amelia Clark's eyebrow movement is incredible. Um, she needs to put her acting... Her acting needs to take more use of it, I would say. Uh... And hopefully she's given roles that are better than stoic woman who wishes to kill everybody, you know? I, I, there's rumors, right, that she could, like, replace Mira in Aquaman 2. That's pretty hilarious to me. Um, oh, it's funny you bring her up. I, um, yeah, in a, in a recent movie that we watched, I even uh, I even called uh, a character Daenerys as a joke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys are just dude bros that are scared of strong wooden whammon. So true. That's yeah, that's it. You got it. Ares gassed the six million and invented the nuke. Probably why they didn't do World War II, especially since Gal Gadot is Israeli. I don't even want to start thinking about how stupid Ares is again. Like, such a weird dude. He just kept, like, chipping away at giving them new inventions and just hoping maybe that this would be the one to wipe everyone out, but it still quite wasn't quite there. And he's, ugh. I keep going. Maybe this this gas will do it. Because like, you know, they use that right on. They were gonna drop it on London. If like, even if Britain was wiped out by it, and then they wipe out, let's just say the whole world, and it's just Germany. Does it, Ares? Does Ares then kill all of Germany himself? I don't know. And at that point, it's like, oh, why didn't you just kill everybody anyway? Even... Oh, I don't even know if I want to think about that. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want it to be forgotten how tismy Ares is. I guess. Uh, if you want decent Wonder Woman movies, watch the animated ones. I can't like that. <laughs> Be nice if our movies were too, but well, what can you do? We we check out what we are provided by the wonderful mainstream. This level's pretty neat. Uh, Gal Gadot must be stopped. I think she's gonna keep on going for a while. Yeah, I think I'm th I think so. People seem to really like her as Wonder Woman, because she's hot. And that's all you need. Alal no, Alal no. Johnny Mnemonic for EFAP movies. It takes place in January 2021. It was awful when it released, and it's aged horribly. Uh, yeah, maybe. Johnny Mnemonic I isn't that a, a um a movie is it, or a game? Yeah, it's a movie. Wasn't it um. Oh, what's his name? A Keanu Reeves movie? Uh, it could be. I mean, it's vaguely familiar. Uh, she sounds like a bad anime dub. Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunate, but I guess the, uh... They had to just deal with whatever they got once they hired her. Happy New Year's, boys! To Here's to DDLC in 2021. Oh, I see. Still after that DDLC. Yeah, maybe. The year is still young. Uh, you're watching Gal's acting wrong a lot. Uh, that clearly. explains it. I ain't looking at her tits enough. You're doing it wrong. That's what you're doing. Um, like TFA critique as a writer helps to have it on. Oh, I mean, yeah, because uh, the TFA critique is probably the most explicit I get with trying to establish like rules and wrong examples and right examples. So I understand like a lot of people like to see more of it than other ones. But I would imagine there's a lot of implicit rules being stated in the um the rages or other analyses and uh, entertainment value, which. Uh, shall be more coming. I understand people really, really want to see more TFA parts. 
They are coming, I swear. One day I will release part six and it'll be like there is no more to come. You have them all. What do we do now? The world destroyed. Um, but I'm sure it'll be right. Also, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to stop around about there. Yeah. Yeah. But Fair we've um, we've managed to take a chunk out, and of course we That's shall good. continue taking chunks out until we reach the end of this. I'd say we have about um, an EFAP and a half left of, of super chats, and we'll be up to, up to date. So, you know, we will get there, folks. Um, possibly next Friday or whatever. I don't know if we have um, or next Wednesday. Either way. We have EFAP movies, Justice League and Suicide Squad are, are tumbling out um, soon enough. Another Batwoman is on its way. The WandaVision full breakdown is tomorrow. And uh, more gaming ones getting re-uploaded from time on, on streaming on here. So, uh, yeah, plenty more to come. And obviously the Snyder Cut arc is coming. It's coming for you guys' souls. So be afraid. It fun. will kill your. It will take your soul from you. I think we can expect a long one tomorrow, starting usual time. Gonna have a bunch of guests. Not gonna have a video to cover, I don't think. Anyway, to break down that season, Mando and Boys style, everybody. It wasn't very good. All right, there I said it. It was. Yeah, it was. Oof. Lackluster would be putting it mildly. Um. Yeah, it's been fun. Um, thanks for hanging out, and I suppose we shall catch you on the morrow. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Absolutely. See everyone later.